All right, lads, this is the original PlayStation 1 Persona. That's right, the very first Persona, not the PSP version, the original OG Persona. Okay, and we're going to be playing it. We're going to start a new game, and yeah, we're going to play it all the way through, and uh, it's, a, it's a very old game, 1996, and it is not like the Persona 4 or 5s you might know. It is. <laughs> it's JRPG single player, not multiplayer. And uh, for those that don't know, there is a lot of translation issues in this version. For instance, in the Japanese version, this character here, Mark, is actually a white dude. You'll have to Google it if you don't believe me, but they made him black in the U.S. release version. I'm playing the U.S. version, not the PAL version. Uh, so yeah, here we go. This is the uh, Persona 1. And so I'm not going to read the dialogue. I'm just going to sum it up, okay? So um, Mark's talking to Brad. He's like, we're going to play Persona. So this is kind of already a fourth wall break. What are you, stupid? It's a it's a great opening line. What what are you stupid for playing this game? Fucking idiot. <laughs> and then it sums up the character. He's a troublemaker, obviously. He gets into mischief. He doesn't get along with the Nate character. Alright, and this is all sprite stuff. Very old game. You'll have to stick with me here. Don't worry about the moon uh, phase in the top right corner. That's not important until much later in the game. Or at all. It depends on what you want to do with it. And you got Brad here. It's like, no, Persona will work. Trust me. I, I'll bet you on it, right? And uh, it, it's just summing up, again, the characters. You can pause the video if you want to learn the story. The story is very small in this game. The loser treats us all to dinner at Peace Diners. So they're betting on a thing working. All right, so this character is betting on Brad. I don't care about this character because I'm not going to recruit her in the game. Also, for those that know what Persona is, uh, I am doing the Sebek run. I'm not doing Snow Queen quest. Okay, you have to do Game Shark shenanigans. On the American version for Snow Queen. I'm not doing that. Ellen bets on Brad, which uh, I will be calling this character Ellie because that's her actual name. I don't know why they named her Ellen for the US version, so if you hear me say Ellie, I'm referencing that character. And for those that want to know which character am I picking, I'm not going after the secret character, okay? The secret character, he's okay. He kind of sucks until the very end of the game until he then he becomes the best character, but we're not doing that. We're not power leveling to 99. We're not doing any of that weird stuff. We're just going to get Ellie here in our party because she's the strongest early game and out of all the other ones I like her weaponry the best so we're picking her all right so it's like which one are you guys betting on and then uh, this guy looks like a posh rich asshole which he is he's the stereotypical rich kid which uh, he's a main he's a main character you gotta use him in your party no matter what Yuki is part of the snow queen quest and early game so uh, we're not gonna be using her really at all so there you go and, uh, yeah, this is like a six or seven hour, eight hour game. It really depends. I might play it longer than that just so we can get more stuff and experience more things. We'll see, okay? I'm going to start speeding through the story here so we can get to the good bits. What about you? Who are you going to bet on? You're on me, right? Yeah, of course. Even though that's the wrong bet, by the way. Spoiler alerts. You'll regret it. You'll be sorry. So here's the game. They're going to walk around in the corners and yell out, Persona, and it's supposed to do weird, creepy stuff. It's like a game I guess teenagers would play to do weird, creepy things. For those that ha have no idea what Persona even is, think of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Just kind of a copy. Just like a copy your homework a little bit there, bro. And that's what it is, essentially. You have these uh, magical beings that come out of you and uh, do special attacks. It's a freaking RPG single-player game. You'll see. And we're not, we're not doing anything too crazy in this run. I will be abusing the casino in the early game to get really good gear, which I probably won't even honestly use. I'm just doing it for fun because I find the casinos in this game very fun, right? Since you can technically save scum it, right? Okay. Anyway, so they run to the corners. They call out Persona. He's like, here it comes. And nothing happens. You got, you got to excuse the, uh, <laughs> the really early game animations. This game was revolutionary for its time. A lot of people don't realize this. Like, you're probably watching this and you're like, ew, this game is ugly. It's got like old graphics. Why Why do you care? And for me, these graphics were revolutionary at the time. They, these were next gen things. This was like wild. This is like one of the first PlayStation games that had like voice acting in the battles. It's crazy. And then a creepy little girl appears. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's very scary. Not really. Look behind you and he's like, what's up? Don't be trying to trick me. You gotta remember, the character was written as a white character, and they they um <laughs> they changed him for the translation of the U.S. version and made him black. I don't know why. They also cha they changed a lot of other characters too, like 
The main character in this has red hair instead of brown. So, more about the main character in a bit. But yeah, uh, this is interesting because lightning is striking the class. This is a classroom, by the way. I don't know how, why these students are in this classroom. That's why they're all dressed the same, by the way. It's because it's their school uniform. I know not everyone in every part of the world has that. Uh, but in certain countries, you have to wear a school uniform. So, there you go. Fun stuff. Watch out, everybody. Ah! <laughs> Again, the translations were, like, really, really rushed back in the day. They were so rushed that they had to leave out half of the game um, to be leave it untranslated. So there we go. This is now a cutscene, and I'm, I don't think I can skip this, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna try to go ahead and maybe skip it for you guys. So I'll be I'll be right back. All right. The reason I'm si skipping cutscenes is because I don't know about the copyright. But like any traditional JRPG, you can enter your name here. I <laughs> try to use the mouse. <laughs> PlayStation game, by the way. Um, so, yeah. Um, canonically, this character doesn't have a name. Sort of. It, it kind of does in the manga. He's known as Earring Boy. But he also has a name, which is Nasoya. Or, or na 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 Yeah, it's Nasoya. So, uh, make sure I'm spelling that right. The N-A-S-O. That's not how to do it. So, we'll go delete. That is... Um, that is canonically his name there. Yay. All right, my bad, my bad. It's it's Naoya. It's not Nesoya, it's Naoya. And there's a reason it's all in all caps, okay? That's because all of the other characters' names will be in all caps. And we want to be like all the other characters. We don't want to have special under our, under capsed characters. There we go. Let's go ahead and start the game here. Yeehaw. So um, there was a cutscene. You met uh, Philomar, I think. Sorry, I'm skipping cutscenes because I'm afraid of... <laughs> I'm afraid of copyright. Anyway, uh, so Philomar, I think is his name, he gives you your persona. Just, uh, I am you, you are me, blah blah blah, if you've ever- uh, Come on, man, like, <laughs> you've never ever played a Persona game. Anyway, you wake up in the hospital because you literally got struck by lightning. And then, Dr. Beverly, who- <laughs> Uh, welcome to the school's infirmary. I- Who- Which school has a doctor? <laughs> I never had a, a, a school doctor, that's wild. How fancy is this school? And then this is the uh, the teacher, <laughs> blue-haired. <laughs> Why do they have blue hair? I don't think they have blue hair in the Japanese version. I don't remember honestly. It's been it's been like how many years? I don't know. What is this year? 2022. <laughs> and yes, I am skipping dialogue. Well, she is a doctor. That's what she's supposed to do. It's no big deal. Don't be so rude, Mark. You silly goon. Anyway, so they're basically just saying, hey, you gotta <laughs> you gotta go. Um, you're gonna have to go visit your friend in the actual hospital. And they're like, okay, we'll go to the hospital. Is that where your student your one of your students are being treated? You mean Mary, which is a main character, spoiler alert. So we gotta go visit Mary in the hospital. And now I have control of the character. The controls are a little jank, a little weird. I'm gonna go ahead and open this little item here, get an herb. Don't really need it. And I still kind of remember, I haven't played this game in so many years, and I still remember the controls. controls. Th these little purple trees are save points. There's also big ones. So we are going to save our adventure. I'm going to save over my other game here, which um, we're just going to, yeah, slot one. Let's go. Remember memory cards, guys. Um, yeah, you can see I had a little bit of practice runs a while, you know, a long time ago. We're just going to go ahead and just save over this little first slot here. And there we go. Saving file. Yay, we've saved the game. And... Once we get free, this is where the game gets a little whack. And yes, I could talk to all these other characters for some storyline, like talk to Mark here at the hospital. Yeah, it's pretty far. It's blah, blah, blah. You know, the game, the characters just tell you how to get there. Anyway, so we're in the school now. And here we go. This will be interesting because uh, not many people are used to this kind of game. Little first person, little maze. Um, hello, game. Sorry, I lost control there. I'm spinning. I don't, I don't, I didn't mean to spin. No, bad mouse. Okay, cool. So look at this. This is a uh, very old school. Kind of, it's, it's kind of like a maze dungeon crawling game, by the way, guys. Um, but it's not always. So we're in the school right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull up some info because I'm not doing any of the side quest stuff. I'm just gonna go straight with the main story. But I will spend some time at the casino. We're gonna do that first. All right, let's get started. It's time to leave the school. I think we're on the first floor. Yes, and this would be the school exit. Announced in yellow on the map. Again, it's been a very, very long time. I also need to set up my options. 
Uh, and yes, you do have to go from room to room, so here we are. And then they're gonna talk, you guys are slots, let's hurry up and pay a visit. So, the characters are like, <laughs> I'll probably never like Nate. I'll never like him. Alright, and then here we go, we're going to the world map, this is also gonna be very archaic. Again, this is 1996, guys. Well, it's gonna play another cutscene here. Uh, funny enough, they named the, the butler Alfred. You know, kind of like Batman's butler. This, again, very poor poor translations. I don't think his name is Alfred at all in the Japanese version. So, um, just a minor side character. He's not a party member. He doesn't get personas or anything like that. Um, <laughs> funny enough here, right? So, this is just comedy. This is just everyone making fun of Nate for having his, a butler, which is, I guess, shameful. And he's like, go home. I'm doing my own thing. I, you're like, motherfucker, drive us in the limo. Why are we going to walk, right? Why would you walk all the way across town on foot to go to, to a freaking hospital whenever you got a limo driver right here willing to take you? More than happy to take you, right? But whatever, it's just useless story expo exposition. Anyway, this is the world map. Oh man, this is very... Look at this. We're moving around. It's pretty cool because uh, right now the world isn't filled with demons. I gotta, <laughs> I tried to, uh, I tried to use the wrong buttons there. Oh boy, look at all of this. Look at this. So the, so we're at the school at the bottom left. You can see I'm the little green dot that waves around. And we need to go to the top right of the map, which is the hospital. Um, but we're not actually gonna go to the hospital yet because there's a lot you can do. Once you go to the hospital, that sets off the main game. Okay, and that's when uh, bad things happen and we don't wanna go there yet. So we can go to the, we can go to the mall, we can, Gamble and go to Joy Street. Gamble. Go to the fa we can't go to the. Fa There's nothing to do with the factory or Sebec or anything yet. But um, yeah, we can just go ahead and uh, go to the mall and stuff. I'm gonna set up my options. All right, I've set up my options just for combat and stuff. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go into Joy Street. Now, I just want to make sure that my options are set correctly. The map in the top right should not move whenever I move, so it should stay north, west, east, south. Good. I absolutely need that for navigation because I barely, barely remember the damn mazes in this game and that would suck if i got lost for hours so first thing we're gonna do we're in the mall we're gonna go save <laughs> uh that's not where the save spot is it's usually near the casino uh that's the velvet room that's where you go set up your personas very iconic music hopefully it's not copyrighted this is the save room and this time the purple tree is very very large and spooky and ominous so here we are and uh, the the way it <laughs> you technically save your game is you carve Carve your record on my trunk. And why does the tree talk? Why aren't they confused by a talking purple pink tree? I don't know. You, you just you just roll with it, okay? People don't really ask questions in these worlds. So we're going to go ahead and save our game once again because we have to do this correctly. If we screw it up, then we fail because we're about to gamble. We're about to play some video poker. And we're going to make a gorillion million dollars super duper quick by playing the video poker. And it's Judgment 1999. Remember, this game was made in 1996. So, um, I don't know what the what what happened in 1999 other than Y2K, I guess. People were afraid of Y2K. Alright, we're gonna go exchange our 50... Because we have uh, 50 bucks in our pocket, which is more than I had as a high schooler, but... Cool. So we're at the arcade, sort of. 50 bucks for 50 coins. Let's exchange it. Now we're completely broke, and that's fine. Alright, now we need to find the video poker machine. I think it's this one right here. Like, no, it's blackjack. I don't want to play blackjack. No, 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 no. We want video poker, which is this one. I think it's, yeah, okay. This is a poker game. Yes, that is what we want to play. Awesome, awesome stuff. So, here we go. We're going to play poker now. And uh, let me just uh, set up my recording. All right, and here we are. It's time to play. So, we, I did not mean to hit the exit button. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong button. Let's try, let's go back in. Go back in once again. Yes, here we go. Start the game. Uh, I don't know why my max but bet button is not working. I'm hitting the square button, but it no worky. Uh, so that's a little odd. All right. I think I have things working now. Uh, I forgot to fix the button. We're going to max bet. And we're going to play some video poker. So this is uh, two pair higher. So what do we do in this situation? We have 10, 4, 6, 9, jack. So you hold jack, draw. And we might lose this. It's fine if we do or fine if we don't. It does happen, all right? But we have four more chances before we have to load our game and try again. So, 10, queen, 8, 5, 3, hold queen. Uh, in a, I play this as a standard variation, so we've got double 7 there. So, again, another 
bad beat as it would say. Queen Jack, hold Queen Jack. Technically you would hold, uh, yeah, that's correct. So there you go. All right, Ace, King, Queen, still another fail. We got two more chance. Don't worry, we're gonna make this money back. Don't worry. Gambling's bad, okay, but we got the double tens. So we just need another two pair or three of a kind, whatever have you. Last chance, guys, last chance. Oh, that's fine. All right, that'd be Ace, King. All right, Ace, King, let's go. And this, <laughs> well, that failed. <laughs> And we're back! Okay, we loaded game, we're trying again. So, Queen, King, oh, we got double sevens, so the seven seven, yep, hold the sevens. The triple sevens, there we go, we did it. Alright, that is three of a kind. So now we're gonna play a game called Big and Small. And, uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Just getting everything ready here. Okay, Big and Small! So, the way it works is they show you a card, you have to guess, is it bigger or is it smaller? So, nine, it is mathematically smaller, so let's go for that. Well, I failed. All right, let's try that again. Big and small, guys. Okay, nine. It is smaller. Aw, oh, dang it. Well, third time's the charm. <laughs> Editing magic, guys. All right, eight. It is smaller. Uh, this is taking so long. I know I'm normally smashed through this so fast, guys. It's bigger. Oh, really? Uh, this is like four. How many times am I failing now? Okay, let's go now <laughs> with the jack. It's smaller. Yay, we did it, guys. Now, because we won, <laughs> we get to double our bet. All right, and we're going to continuously double our bet until we win. Okay, so it's obviously bigger. Yeah, we won. Now we have a lot more coins. Look at that. I can double that again. So, of course, we're going to double it again. You don't have to continuously double it forever, but... That's how we do it. There we go. Three. We're getting real good luck here. So we're going to, of course, double that. Now look how much coins we have, okay? Oh, it's bigger. Yeah. Now we're at 480 if we stop here, but we're not stopping. Because we got to max this sucker out, okay? It's obviously smaller. Oh, no. That's okay, though. Um, because I did it again. I got back to where we were, and it's obviously smaller. Yay! Isn't that awesome? All right. <laughs> you can see here, we can get through this pretty quick on your end. For me, it's literally taking a long time. Now, the music's getting fancy because we've won a huge amount of monies, okay? But we can't stop here. It's only a thousand. We need to max this sucker out, make it smaller. All right. Again. It's just going to get crazy from here, guys. <laughs> and bigger, obviously. Yep. That was easy. Now, it would be pretty safe to stop here. Six is a, is a, is a bad number, but... Uh, luckily for you guys, I am just going to edit the crap out of this video until I get it right. So, bigger? Oh yeah, first try. Wink wink, nudge nudge. And, uh, there we go. Almost to max, just a few more. <laughs> yeah, this is the easiest way to get money in the game. We're at the very start of the game, by the way. <laughs> Alright, it's obviously bigger than four. Let's go. Yep, it's obviously going to be smaller than Ace, because Ace doesn't get treated as 2 in this game. 2 or 11, by the way, for you gamblers. But look at our mechs now. Uh, it is clearly smaller. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think a few more were done. We're done, so look at our look at our money now. Look at our money. Just go, just go crazy. Wow, 2. That's easy. That is easy. That's, a, that's basically free money, okay? It's, it's just free. This is the, the Persona money cheat, guys. It's not really a cheat because you can save scum it, but, uh... <laughs> <sighs> okay, there we go. And bigger. Yep, of course. Now, it's not gonna double, like, you would collect here, right? Because I'm only gonna earn, what is this? Like, maybe 9,000, 8, 7,000 points or something like that, like that. But we're gonna do it anyway, so you can hear the ultimate fanfare music. There it is, boys. We did it! It only took one save scum and... Oh, no, no, it took way more than that. It took like six save scums, but we still did it. For you, this will only have taken mere minutes. For me, it has... It's been quite a lot of real life time. Anyway, so there we go. Now we have max coins, which is really freaking cool. But we're, we need to do it again, okay? We're not done yet. Just one more time. 9652 Jack, hold Jack. All right. Even though it doesn't pertain to two of a pair and higher, it does pertain to jacks or better, which is standard casino fair, which I'm going to practice standard casino. Hold the eights. All right. Got nothing again. Don't worry. We have so much money now. It doesn't, we can do this for hours. We're not going to run out. 10-5 of two jack two. 
240. Yeah, this is a garbage hand. Hold the jack. <laughs> uh, game over. Don't worry. It's, it's again, super quick. You, you, I can only bet 10 coins at a time. Two sixes. I didn't even hold the proper... I held the wrong card. Guys, d just don't... Don't pay attention to that. We got a joker. Hold the joker. Uh, 10, 2, and 8. So there you go. We got the joke. Still nothing. Still nothing. That's okay. It's okay. We got double queen. We also have... Yeah, just... Just hold the queens. Double ace, double queen, two of a pair. There you go. Got it. We're going to do big and small again one more time. And we're going to get that big, big money number. It's obviously bigger than two. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. And smaller. Yep. All right. And then five. It's going to be bigger. Oh, that's okay, though. Because um, I got it again. Let's go bigger. Uh, tied. Well, now. <laughs> we keep getting fives, man. What's up with that? It's weird. There we go. We got it. All right. It's almost like uh, it's in the game's coding of what it'll be. Hmm. Odd. You know, say it's coming. You know, it's how it works. This game... A lot of the back end, the coding is based on how many steps you take, and you're gonna see this way later if I continue this series. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but uh, let's see there. Big, yes, and of course it is. Uh, based on how many steps you take, you can manipulate a lot of values in the game. That's kind of what I'm doing behind the scenes here. I could speedrun the hell out of this game. <laughs> it was really hard to tie my voice up to that reload, by the way. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Anyway. So, you can take a certain number of steps to force certain fights. You can take certain numbers of steps to force certain card outcomes, which is a little bit what I'm trying to do, though it's uh, it's a little jumbled right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got... That's definitely some... Oh, no. All right, we're back again with the same card draw. Wink, wink. I'm going to be... <laughs> it's, it's RNG at this point. It can be anything. There we go. We got it that time. Uh, but it does have other RNG outcomes. All right. So, continuing. Sorry. Continuing once more. <laughs> Bigger. Yeah, boy. These are harder numbers. And last time we got super lucky with it, which is what happens when you step that many times. But whatever. <laughs> Let's go smaller. Sorry. All right. Well, we tried small, so we're going to try small again. Ooh, yeah, got it. Yeehaw. <laughs> Each of these save scums takes so it takes so long to get back to, man. Ugh, ugh. Yay, that's a freebie. That is that is absolutely free. Okay, smaller tie. All right, well that worked. <laughs> we have more than enough at this point, but I want to max it out. I would max you out once. Oh, that's okay. I finally got back to this again. Oh, no, is it stuck? That was two kings in a row. Okay, we got it that time. Okay, it's supposed to be RG. I don't know. Maybe there's a way to manipulate that card, too. I haven't learned how yet. I'm not an expert. All right. Yeehaw. Gonna have so many coins, guys. Let's see now. Eight, eight, bigger. Aw. Oh, what a grind to get back here. Yikers. There we go, we did it though. <laughs> uh, it's so hard to make this consistent. Okay. Let's see, 10, small. Yeah, big money. Okay, we got enough money now. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're good. Yeehaw, that's right. Yep, max 100 gorillions. All right, so now the way it works is we just go to the, there's a vendor, you can turn in your tokens. Uh, for prizes, and now we can have a whole bunch of really powerful early game equipments. So, can I help you exchange tokens for items here? Would you like a token or an item or two? Alright, so you want two Dirks, one Sonic Sword, one Zamba, one Basher, one Electric Whip, Gun Fist, Mega Glove, you want... I'm just gonna buy ten... ten Blind Shots, because, even though there's only five party members, spoilers by the way. There we go. Alright. And now we can just buy all bashers and then sell them, or mega gloves and sell them. It doesn't really matter. There's a way to, yeah, let's we'll do it like that. Okay. So that's going to basically, we still have plenty of tokens on hand, which is fine. And then at mega gloves, we'll go ahead and buy a bunch of those. 
And there we go. All right, so Mega Gloves and Bashers. Now we're going to equip our party... I keep pushing start to open the menu. It's circle. <laughs> and now we're... No, I don't need to... Ah! Again, I'm sorry. I'm still learning the menu here. It's been a long time. And now we're starting the game with literal weaponry. We don't have guns yet. That's okay. Ugh, wrong button. I'm sorry. It's... This is archaic old school stuff, right? And then we get a sword and bullet. Triangle. There we go. Okay. Basher for him and blind shot. Again, every, these students are... No, dang it. Ugh, I can't menu correctly. I'm sorry, guys. Go to equip. Go to, we don't need anything on Yuki because... How do I... What is the button to remove her equipment? I'll just... I'll remove. There you go. Whatever. It's fine. Yep, she's wearing absolutely nothing now. She has, uh, she's not a permanent character. All right, let's make sure Mark has... Yeah, they all have blind shot. They all have their weapons. So everyone is very equipped. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So now we can leave out of here. And then we can go to one of the shops and buy out all the equipment. <laughs> uh, we can't go shopping for armor or weapons yet. The game simply won't let you. Like if I walk into this uh, armor store, it's clearly a clothing store at the mall, right? If I go in there, uh, there's an awkward situation with someone recognizing Mark and then he's like, we gotta get out of here. This is weird. So we're gonna go into the two, uh, just little convenience stores, max out our items, which is going to just make everything overpowered as heck. Well, not make everything overpowered, but yeah. Good old shopkeeper. Hello, shopkeeper. I want to buy out your entire stock. Oh, wait, I can't yet. I need to sell <laughs> all these weapons that I've acquired. <laughs> Uh, and you see, they don't, they barely sell for what they're worth, right? And that's kind of the point. <laughs> but we have now um, <laughs> $11,000, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, I'm keeping all the other crap on the extra blind shots, the whips we won't use for the character we'll never get. But uh, now this means that we can buy all the items that we want. Yeehaw, very fun, fun indeed. Yep, that's right. And yes, life orbs. Ooh, big expensive. Big expensive. And you can see that uh, I am basically almost broke at this point. As a matter of fact, I am broke. But that's okay. Because uh, I'm going to go do more casino hijinks. Uh, this time off camera so that I don't bug you guys. And I'm going to buy out the item shop. That's how we're starting the game with maximum items. Alright, that is another... <laughs> Another hundred, what is that, 100k? Uh, a million, yeah, that's a million points. Okay, nice. We're just gonna add that to our coin count. And get the hell out of here. And again, we're just buying up a bunch of equipment and then selling it and then buying a bunch of, you know, revives and healing items, even though we probably never gonna, we're never gonna need it or use it. I like to be absolutely overpowered as, as hell in these JRPG games. That's how I play them. Why didn't it let me buy 99 of those? I thought I equipped one of them, didn't I? Asher is a Mark Axe. Yeah, it's, it's equipped. Whatever. I don't know. Weird. Cool. I guess if it's equipped, it doesn't. it's not considered in your inventory. Um, I guess I should remember that for later. And now we go back to the shops. And the last thing that this, this shop had was Hina Stones. Uh, but we can go to the pharmacy, and there's a few other items that the pharmacy has, I believe. I don't remember. But there is a fun little tune in the pharmacy. I hope it doesn't get copyrighted. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, some some YouTubers like I own this song. It's mine. Say goodbye to your revenue, bro. Buy 99 herbs. The, the actual song is hilarious. Oh, I didn't. I gotta sell first. My bad. I'm sitting here trying to like buy stuff. Oh crap. Where are they at? Bashers. Yes. Sell all the bashers. We did it. Did I, did, I, did I buy enough? I don't, I don't know, whatever. Okay, 99 nerves, let's go. Boop. Magic rocks. Definitely want a bunch of those. Demons love magic rocks. And they also love <laughs> blood orbs. And uh, these, man, I don't really need 99 of them. I'll just, I'll just buy like 12. There we go. Okay, now we're set. <laughs> Okay, even though it's not 99. I can go buy 99 more bashers if I wanted, but I think we're good now. And yes, there's little Pepe's in the corner. That's right. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, we can <laughs> proceed with the actual game. 
Let's see. I went... Oh, the Yin and Yan store. That's right. I gotta check that, too. Just, I just gotta check it. Make, make sure there's nothing super good. Magic rocks are good. Bloodstone's good. The reason you want magic rocks is a bartering chip, because this game has a barter system. You can talk to the demons, give them stuff. Welcome! Yeehaw! On hand, 99. I don't have any spell rocks. Yeah, I need spell rocks, guys. And life... Bells. Yeah, I definitely want bells. Yeah. So... <laughs> I have more manipulation to do. I'll be right back. By the way, I just want to point out, this says restores and increases HP for one player, right? But uh, it's called Strength Drink. And uh, the funny thing is, is it doesn't do that. So well, let me show you. I'm going to drink, I'm going to make Yuki drink one. So it restored 9 HP, that's fine. We're going to make her drink another one. 58, that's fine. 33, and she's poisoned. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's a fun way to kill off characters that you don't want getting experience, which we don't want Yuki to get uh, experience. Uh, core Shield is used way later in the game, and, uh, yeah, so everything else is pretty useful. I could cure poison, or I can annoyingly walk around in every step I take. I don't know if because I'm in town, if that works. She was at 33. Yeah, it's not going to work until I'm on the world map. But when I'm, when I'm on the world map, it should there should be, like, a red flash when I take steps, and that's going to reduce her HP to 1, which means she'll get one-shotted. It may not show. Uh, yeah, there it is. You see the red flash? Like... <laughs> Every so often, just running. Ow. 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 <laughs> it's kind of annoying, right? But now she's at 28 HP. So you can literally just poison your characters and make them, uh, just run them down. So I'm going to save game, and then we are going to get to the, uh, the, the hospital, and I'll see you there. All right, here we are at the hospital. And, uh, yes, uh, Yuki is still poisoned, and, um, <laughs> we got her down to 1 HP. You won't die until you're in combat, but... It's going to go ahead and basically take us straight to where we need to go, I think. Maybe not. Okay, yeah. So we're supposed to get a checkup. Uh, Mary's room is in 302. So that is the third floor, usually in ha most hospitals. And then he's like, how do you know? Or Yuki's like, how do you know that? And he's like, he gets nervous. He's like, uh, shut up. My buddy's told me. Let's go. There's a pregnant lady down here with a baby. Look at this. She is uh, super preggers. My husband is seeing things at work. It could be the first sign of overwork. Hmm, that's very telling of 90s Japan. <laughs> All right, it's funny that they call the hospital a dungeon, by the way, but um, that's just how the game how the game works. All right, so third floor, we're just gonna go straight there. There's nothing to get on any of these other floors. That's second floor and third floor, room 302. So you gotta look at, uh, what was that? That would be 301 on the left. Is it, it could be this 302, is this 302? 302, let's see. <laughs> you gotta really uh, think of these things. I, I don't remember if this is the correct room or not, but we'll see. It sounds, yeah, this is it. Okay, we're in the right spot. And um, the doctor leaves. I'm gonna go get some fresh air. And then uh, there's Mary's been in the hospital for a year due to minor mental delusions. That's me, guys. I'm, I have mental delusions that I'm a YouTuber. I'm just actually speaking to myself in a padded room right now. I don't actually have a fan base. There's no such thing as the internet, there's no such thing as video games. And uh, she's like, thank you for visiting. Especially Mark. And he's like, why the special thanks to Mark? And, you know, it blows his cover that he's been seeing her a bunch. And uh, Yuki just plays it off like, oh, that's cool. It's whatever. We don't care about Yuki because she's not a main character in the Sebek quest line. Okay? We don't get to use her except for the early game. That's it. And then she, she pieces out. So we took all her gear and made her drink energy drinks until she's about to die. Anyway, this is just storyline. There's, there's not too much character development. Anyway, she goes, ooh, and then her uh, she slumps over, and they're like, oh, no, call the nurse. Everyone freaks out. Oh, no. You ever been in a hospital where someone passes out? Fun times. Fun times, indeed. Anyway, so they go sit outside the in intensive care unit. That's what ICU means. I didn't know what that meant in 1996, because I'd never been to a hospital, <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, there's an earthquake, and this is where the game is, uh, this is where things change. What's happening? Is there an earth, is this an earthquake? Yes. It's a big one, and they're like, whoa! Change the sprite animation from st idle standing to tripping up. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't know. This is where the game gets freaking good, man. Like, the, the Persona 4 takes like two hours to kick off, okay? Persona 5 takes about an hour until it gets serious, but Persona 1 starts slapping immediately, right? Opens the ICU door. Nothing there. What just happened? What happened to the room? Where's Barry? And everyone's like, whoa! 
How can this be? The, that was the ICU room. What just happened to it? It's just gone. Yeek! Oh no. From downstairs, let's go! Right? And this is a... This is a... <laughs> apocalypse scenario number one. You're in the hospital. Zombies appear. <laughs> what the fuck? Zombies! Groan. What are these things? These people came from the morgue. They're dead. They suddenly got up and started walking. That old man there tried to protect us, but you'll struck down by them. It's Alfred, by the way. <laughs> and then the nurse just pieces out. The nurse is like, see y'all later. <laughs> you mean these guys are dead and now they're alive? What the? It's like I've never played a video game with zombies before. Old man? You mean Alfred? I like how the zombies just chill. They're just like waiting. They're like, eh. Alfred! Zombies, how dare you? See, he calls them zombies immediately. He knows what the hell they are. He watches TV. He plays video games. So this is the uh, the first little um, storyline fight. And she, she's dying of poison! <laughs> That's so funny. I'll kill you all! This better not glitch the game. They're all dead. What do we do? What do we do? Just use your personas, man. <laughs> oh no, the zombie! <laughs> Oh no, it's Persona time. If you've ever played Persona 4 or 5, you know what this is. If you've ever watched JoJo's, you know what a Stan is. Or Stan, whatever. I'm you, you're me. Instead of I am thou, thou art I. I emerged from your soul, I can help you. And then everyone else has their awakenings as well. Now, canonically, the Persona 1 characters are incredibly powerful compared to um, Yu Narakami and uh, Joker and all of them from Persona 4 and 5 because they can all switch personas, whereas those characters, only the main characters from 4 and 5 can switch, but all of these characters can. So you can see he's got like some weird, <laughs> uh, some revealing sprite there. There you go, zombies are dead. Zombies are all dead. You got the scalpel, wow. Which it'll actually show, right? And you got the mop. Oh boy, a scalpel and a mop, guys. Now, um... You can only pick the stats of the main character. Yes, you have to allocate stat points. And we're gonna go agility because this lets us act first. By the way, the red lines on the stats, that's how much stats your persona is giving you. All right, so certain personas give you a boost of stats, but you can, you know, go beyond what the persona gives you. In most cases until late game where the persona is just gonna max out your stats anyway, it's whatever. All right. Now, this game does have bad endings and good endings and, and other alternate endings, so you have to make the right choices as you play or you get... You, you miss out on, like, a good chunk of the game. Like, the bad ending ends the game super, super early. Alfred, don't die! Don't leave me behind! Please don't look so sad, blah, blah, blah. That's it for me, I'm dead. Ugh. Does he become a zombie, though? Nah. I promise you'll become someone great in the world. This is, like... Stupid character development. It's really lame because we don't care about these characters. We just met them, right? And this rich guy is being a pompous asshole at the start of the game. So why would we care? I like how shouting is denounced by multiple character letters. <laughs> and the characters are like, <laughs> they all have their heads slumped over like, oh, jeez. Feel bad. Hey, did you hear them just now? They said something to us. It's like, oh, yeah, we have magic powers. Isn't that sweet? I heard it too. Could have been in the Persona? He said it would give us power. I don't think there are enemies. If we do it right, they might help us out. Let's just call it the Persona. I'm not sure what to make of it yet. Also, I think because everyone leveled up that Yuki is now fully healed. Um, I actually set this earlier, Yuki's main tank, because yeah, Yuki's full health, but she's still poisoned. So I'll, I'll fix that later. Anyway, and then I already equipped them with all their good shit, so I don't need to give them a mop and scalpel. If I try to talk to Alfred, it just says nothing. <laughs> That's always funny. Alfred's dead. All right, there's no there's no items here. Funny enough, there's an Atlas vending machine. Atlas is the producers of the game. All right, let's uh, begin our journey into the first dungeon of the game. All right, and here here we go, lads. Yes, into the Persona dungeon. You know, notice things are getting a little creepy with the music and the ambiance. Yep. All right, let's go. Oh, our first battle, one step out of the freaking room. That's not good. And you normally get a few, at least a few steps. We got Zombie Girl. Uh, so Zombie Girl, let me let me just uh, try to remember. Let's see, 
Zombie boy, zombie slime, zombie nurse. These aren't zombie nurses, are they? I don't remember if they're nurses or girls. The game will tell me. I'm gonna contact them. They're a zombie girl, um, which I don't really need right now, so uh, I'm gonna kill them. And uh, the thing is, to level up your personas, you actually have to use your personas. So we're just gonna kill them with uh, the three characters here. He, he has nothing in range, he can't fight. So, and then we're not gonna have her fight because if they fight, they get experience and I don't want Yuki to get experience. But yeah, look at these slow animations, dude. They are, they're, they're, they were a revolutionary for the time. So yeah, that was actually a brutal death. The, the sprite showed the zombie getting literally shredded by the wind, but I think it's the same death animation for everything. This is apparently a holy spell. Twists them up, and because they're undead, they take extra damage. Yep, there you go. Absolutely brutal. And that one ran away! Yes, uh, the demons can run away if they get scared. So that zombie was like, oh shit, <laughs> these guys have magic. Ah. Zombies running from you? It's real. Alright, so um, yes, I could go in here and get healed by a doctor. Don't want that, don't care. And uh, I can go in here, get some items, don't need them. Alright, this is third floor. I think this is third floor. I can open my map and check. It's gonna tell me we are on Hospital 3F. Yes, that is where we need to go. Uh, so, let's see if I can remember. Uh, again, it's very hard <laughs> to navigate this shit. Um, hmm. Um, uh, I don't. Okay, there's the fake door. I, uh, yeah, I don't remember at all. <laughs> so, uh, luckily, the first the first maze is really simple. First maze is super simple. We can, we can, we can figure it out without <laughs> Googling the map. Okay, slimes. Slimes are... We do need slime. We need to recruit them with main character. So, slimes are stupid and grumpy. Our main character has the recruitment persuasion. So, we're going to recruit the slime. And the slime will be, like, angry. That's not what I'm supposed to do. Um... Okay, taunt then. Uh, provoke. Screw you, slime. Yeah, now now they're interested. Slimes are cool, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta be chill with your slime bros. Now he wants me to give him something. He wants uh, energy, which means he's gonna steal some of my life, some of my HP, and that's gonna make him happy. This takes a little. It's fine. It's a slime, you know. We're we're gonna get a spell card. There we go, just one more time. Oh, he wants more uh, energy, so yeah, sure, you can have it. He's like, you're eating well, right? I can tell. Just let the slime suck on you a bit. There you go, we provoked the demon into being interested. He's also a happy and interested. So, he wants, he's, we want a spell card. This is how you make Persona, so we're going to go ahead and get the spell card. And he's also going to give us an item. So he used a magic stone and healed us. So, <laughs> so now... So it's fine, you know, he took some of our life and then he healed us and then he gave us a spell card which ends the battle And when you have their spell card, you can you can make them leave because they're your friend now, right? The slimes are our friend. It's almost like an isekai anime Iseki? Isekai? Isekai anime All right, let's go. Yes, she's still poisoned. I know now we have a crossroads. Do I go right? Or do I go? Do I go left? And I believe I don't really, I don't really know. I'll go left. Let's go left. Might be the wrong way. Don't know. Don't remember. Just don't remember, bros. Hmm. Alright, pixies. Pixies are the ones that we wanted to recruit. We need pixies. Uh, they are also stupid and grumpy. And that would be for recruit. Yes, pixie. Oh, it's making them mad. Whoops. Okay. Um. Well, we'll try provoking them then. Let's see. Nah, it's still made him mad. <laughs> Do you want to fight? Nah, better not. Oh, got some guts. <laughs> okay, let someone else talk. Mark danced crazy. This is a meme. This is an old meme. Mark danced seductively. Uh-oh, they're, they're still mad. Give me something before you die. I want a magic stone. Can't have it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's try... Let's try bribing them. <laughs> Here, it's not much. It's a special quarter. Heads and tails are reversed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like life energy. Is your energy tasty? Yeah, it's pretty tasty. Tastes good. Yeah, this is kind of uh, interesting. So we're just going to hit bribe a bunch of times. <laughs> and get their interest all the way up. Hopefully because they're also not angry that they won't, you know, do something stupid. So spell card, obviously. There you go. And then w once we encounter them again, we can kill them. Or we can just skip the fights. It's fine. 
But yeah, we definitely want Pixie. Yeah, I guess it's called Wraith. That is not a Pixie. Oh, that's why. That's why it wasn't working. The Wraiths. Duh. Pixies are actual Pixies. I, I haven't played this in so long. I forgot. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, back to the maze. The first maze of the game. I need to click the screen. Is my control stuck? Now we need to go second floor. Make, just making sure I'm going the right way here. Yeah, okay. Go back to second floor. And second floor, second floor is floor two. Floor two. This is, uh, it's not working for me, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, I need a map of this shit. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go down. We'll go this. Nope, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. I was also walking backwards, so I might get back attacked. Don't think that's the thing in this game. Oh, there's the pixies. Yeah. Yeah, pixies. We need those two. I know. We haven't really fought any demons yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna recruit the pixies. Oh, no, they're scared. <laughs> they're scared. Okay, well, I'll provoke them then. <laughs> oh, that's just, they're scared of that too. Fine, Pixie's like dancing. Let's just, just dance at them. Jeez. <laughs> they changed it. Uh-oh, happy. We don't want them to happy either, okay? Stare at them. Mark stared from head to toe. Oh, that made him mad. Why are you looking at me? Because I hate you. <laughs> Dude, why are you staring at me? Is it because I'm so popular? Alright, well, let's preach to them. I can't enjoy life fully, I'd rather be dead. And there are many like that. Uh oh, don't give me this crap. <laughs> Tease them. Uh, it, okay, so there. Can I be killed by a human? No way! And they ran away, they got too scared. They don't like being talked to. <laughs> uh, should taunt them as main character, I believe that was the right thing. Oh wait, didn't I already try that? Uh, wrong way, no, go this way. We need to kill Yuki off ASAP. Let's kill her. She'll hopefully, she'll hopefully be 1 HP by the time, uh, by the time we, uh, I don't know, get to the hospital, maybe. Maybe. I think we get healed, though, after hospital, honestly. So it might be all in vain. It's fine. All right, these are, we still need Pixie. I don't need, I don't need goblins. Still need Pixie. They're happy and something. Uh, so just go ahead and give them, a, give them sarcasm. We are not worthy to lick your shoes. Oh, that makes them mad. <laughs> Give him a speech. You must change yourself first in order to change your life. Nope. <laughs> You're boring. Give me a magic stone. No way. You're a human who wants to keep the stone? That's just like a demon. Ah. Alright, well, we'll lie to him. Just lie to Pixie. I was transformed into a human by a curse. I don't mind talking with you if you don't look the type to have any money. <laughs> you know I want one dollar? No way. You want to negotiate, but you're not paying any money in return? Just who do you think I am? Oh, my lovely child, Pixie, you look great. You must be easy to deceive. You're still cute and innocent. Alright, one more lie, and then there you go. You're wasting time, get to the point. Give him a spell card. I'll curse you if you fuse me with weirdos. Yeah, that's how it works, is you uh, combine the spell cards, so it takes the two personas. It makes a whole new one. That's how this game works, I'll show you later, it's pretty cool. All right. Yes, that ends the battle. You can't. Get, you won't get to kill the goblins. Sorry. I got. I got to collect all the spell cards. That's how it works. It's how we get overpowered. as fuck. Okay. Just make sure I'm going the right way. I get. I am really bad at mazes, guys. This is not the game I should be playing. Uh. Yes. Go this way. And. Yeah, almost there. Not quite, but almost. Woohoo! All right. Who do we fight now? Let's attack. That means we get advantage. Uh, in this case, just persona them. I don't need to blind them. Hit them with holy, and then he can't reach anything uh, with tackle. So, just defend. Ugh, I didn't mean to cancel. Jeez. So yeah, defend and defend, and then there we go. We'll kill the slimes because we're we have already recruited them. You can actually talk to them and get items after you have their spell card, but it's not really worth it. Slimes do not like wind, apparently. These are not the, the slimes that are in the animes, for sure. These are just little sad little slimes. Uh, one damage? Yikes. Don't holy him. So she took damage because she's poison. So we'll hit that one with wind. He, he can't reach with his sword. This is just a main character fight, because we don't want experience for Yuki. And the others can't reach or do damage to the slimes, because slimes are apparently holy resistant. 
All right, there, down he goes. Main character getting buff. <laughs> One damage, even though I took all her armor off. Yep, that's how easy these early game fights are. All right. <laughs> I know the fights are slow, guys. I know. Uh, but there we go. We soloed the slimes. Well, I mean, Nate hit him once, so he's gonna need a little bit extra experience there. See, his persona got eight, everyone else got four. There we go. We got a, a dis energy as a drop. So, pretty neat on that. Uh, continuing the maze. That's just a healing point or a save point up, up top, so I don't want to go there. I think this is the exit. Yeah, I think we're at the exit. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is regular zombie? I think this is... This is zombie boy. Okay, yeah, we want zombie boy. Zombie boy, I shall recruit you. There you go. They are afraid! No, don't be afraid. Zombies like dancing, apparently, according to anime. I don't remember... <laughs> yeah, there you go. I've never been to a disco. What kind of place is it? Mark stepped lightly. Aha, uh -huh, this sucks. <laughs> Yeah, zombies like dancing. I don't know why. What do you want? Spell card. Yeah, man. But if you turn this into a Persona too soon, it might go bad. Don't really know what that reference is, but hey, there you go. We did it. See the spell card from Zombie Boy. Alright. Very cool indeed. And this is the exit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get all the spell cards that I didn't get off camera, and I'll be right back. And there we go, got Zombie Girl's card, and Zombie Nurse. And there we have Goblin. I swear this thing's called Poltergeist, but in the American version it's called Static. Alright, we are out of the, uh, the hospital area, and it's like, oh, this person's still alive, give me a hand. And it's like, she's not gonna live, come on or you'll be dead too. So he's like, he's, he thinks he's not, she's not gonna live, and it's like, what do you do? Do you help out the person underneath the vending machine? Or do you run into the dungeon? Well, if you want the bad ending, don't help the lady. It's that simple. It's too late for me. Go and save yourselves. Don't give up. And it's like, yeah, you, you gotta lend a hand and help her out. I mean, you literally have magical superpowers, so... The demons are coming is not a valid excuse. Oh no, they're here! And then, you know, here comes some demons, but then... Oh no, it's zombies. Easily handled. Now, here comes a fellow classmate, Ellie, or Ellen in the US version. Oh, there are demons here too? Haha, <laughs> teehee. I can handle them. Stand behind me, lol XD. I'm just a schoolgirl. I have magic powers. And it's like, yeah, so so does so do, does everyone else. <laughs> Get back! What are you doing? These are zombies. Don't worry. I'm not as weak as you think. They're not normal. <laughs> Stop being arrogant. Everyone's worried for her, but she's all like Die. He's like, blah. And then he should deal way more damage. I gave him a freaking battle axe. He doesn't have a scalpel right now. And then she just, you know, summons Persona. And then boop, dead. <laughs> Pretty funny. Like, Oh yeah, you get a free level up every time there's a storyline battle. I don't know why, so I should have power leveled a bit more, but oops, whatever. We don't need high levels to beat the game. It actually makes it a little more challenging if you're not super high leveled, but whatever. And this isn't the place where we get to, like, make her permanent, a permanent party member. Uh, it's just temporary for now, so... Yeah, there are three characters in the Sebek Saga you can choose, and then there's one secret character. Could I be Nike, the goddess of victory? Or, like, the shoes? <laughs> are you okay? The Greek goddess of Christian angels were formed after. That's me! I'm a, I'm a goddess! Dang, she's all loony. Pull yourself together. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an angel that can bring you victory. I'll protect you from now on. And she flexes. Stupid, we can do that too. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> I'm not the only one who was chosen. And it's like, you had a dream of a butterfly, which is the cutscene I skipped. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I've been having the same dream of the butterfly ever since we played Persona. And now you will too, since you watched it on a YouTube video. Haha, <laughs> I gave you superpowers. Thought so, this dream we're all having is the cause of all this. Anyway, what are you doing here? It's like, is it like this outside? Yeah, outside is crawling with demons. There's no way out of town either. I looked around everywhere and found the school to be the safest place. So we're safe at the school. Let's go back to the school. Good idea, which was her idea. But let's stop by the shrine first. Mary's mother is hurt and in trouble. 
Why did she run away to get other people to help? Why didn't you tell us that earlier? Let's go help her. And then you get to form your party, which is uh, interesting. So basically, we want main character front and center at all times. And then Mark is, uh, we make him a support role later on, but we want him right side. And then our other main melee character, we want at least... So that way we have everybody up front. Yuki's useless, we're not using her. I mean, she's not really useless, okay? She's a good character, but we don't use her in this storyline, in this quest line we're doing. She is not a permanent character. All right, with that, we also want to equip Ellie now with all the good shit that we got from the casino. So there you go. Uh, Rapier, we're gonna give her the Dirk. And give her some blind shot ammo. And she also has gauntlets, whereas no one else has gauntlets. So, it's pretty funny that she wears gauntlets. I guess because she's a, um, a fencing character, so she has the gauntlets from Fencing Club or whatever. But there you go. Uh, we have $3,000 starting out. We have all the Persona cards in the first dungeon. I think we're all set to rock and roll, guys. So, let's go. Alright, and here we go to the world map. The world map? What happened to my sound? Oh, my sound died while I uh, took a small break. Let me just fix that real quick. And pump it back up. There we go, we got the sound back. Very cool. All right, so now we need to go to the shrine, but instead, I need to go to Joy Street and save my game, and then I'm going to force an item drop from a three Jack Frost encounter so that I can have a super overpowered early game spell. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk to Joy Street now and just kill or recruit everything on the way. Uh, pretty simple stuff, nothing too complex or crazy. And uh, I'm going to do that off camera because it's kind of grind, but I'll go ahead and uh, show you that, yes, the world map does have random encounters now, and they are higher leveled than the hospital. So, uh, of course, these guys aren't, but I do have all of their spell cards. So I'm going to continue leveling up the persona by just uh, killing everything that I can. All right, I'll show you. Go ahead and show you a battle. Why not? And then, of course, Yuki fully healed after the story battle. We have Ellie now, who has the power of light. I don't know if Pixies can take it, but let's see. I know Pixies, um, they can reflect wind, so uh, it's their main offensive attack, but it killed that. Whatever that little blue thing was, I forgot the name, but there you go. This is our current setup. Let's see if Holy hurts Pixie. And yeah, one shots him. Okay, good. <laughs> And use those spells. Now, I'm going to be replacing almost all of their personas probably at some point. That's why we're getting the spell cards. I already have these guys' spell cards. So. Now, uh, leveling up Ellie now would be silly because she's going to rejoin later, and when she rejoins, she will be around the party's level, so it's not super important to really pump her up. And that did not kill but the dot, maybe, because holy is a damage over time. Or, yeah, holy and unholy attacks are damage over time. So we can just sword, I don't have guns yet, just sword the uh, remaining pixie, that finishes the fight. Boom, one shot, because we uh, went to the casino earlier. Otherwise you would deal like no damage to these creatures at all while we do it. Yeah, fun times. <laughs> Alright, and we are going again to the sun, what is it called? Joy Street, that is where we're going, so we're going to go ahead and cross the road because... Uh, the world is plunged into darkness with demons. There's no longer cars driving in the roads. So I would love to see a remake of this game. It would be the coolest Persona to remake. Though I, I don't think the current generation would really appreciate it as much as me. And yeah, more more random encounters. Let's see, what do we got this time? I'm hoping for kobolds. Uh, it's just zombies. I got zombie nurse and regular zombies. So you can actually contact them and tell them to buzz off. I don't need the regular nurse card. You have my spell card. Or you make a beautiful and charming persona and then they run away. So yeah, we can just kill these with swords and then that would finish up the round because we can one-shot them since they're the first enemy of the literal game and we have several high-tier weapons. Uh, easy. And yes, I skipped the, uh, the experience screen. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think I'm only level 9 or 10. All right. We should be like 40 or 60 by the end of the game if I don't power level. I might do that off camera. I don't know. I like to be very overpowered, as you can tell in these games. Am I? I feel like I'm there. It's uh, it's a little hard to tell. Uh, <laughs> very old game, but the mechanics are really, really, really solid. So uh, I'm going to basically exit out the nearest door and then head west towards the shrine once I save. But I have to turn the game off completely and then reboot it 
to force the three Jack Frost counter. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that and I will catch you back in a bit. All right, here we are at the mall and I've also done a bit of grinding so that every character has an AOE attack unlocked. So, so here's the shrine and you can see it's pretty close to the school which is where we go next and uh, we were at the hospital so we had to walk all the way across the map. It's not really a big deal. So apparently Mary's mom is here. This is where we gotta go and uh, help her out. There are more cutscenes that I'm gonna have to skip because again, afraid of copyright, whatever. Here we are, oh, a beautiful butterfly that'll heal us. Or really, it just knocks everyone out and gives them a little dream. Yep, this butterfly, there's something strange about it. Yeah, it's glowing and it's super bright and it's lighting up the entire room. What the? And cutscene time. Woohoo, yeehaw, here we go, lads. Very cool cutscene that y'all didn't get to see. What was that, a dream? Life is stranger than fiction, many have said. Another important life experience. And then this person works for Sebek, and we are doing the Sebek quest. Oh no, we had to blacken the screen so we can move the sprites. Uh, that's some lazy animation, because, you know, earlier in the game, sprites moved around organically, and now they don't, so... Uh, either it caused bugs or something, I wonder why. Anyway, it's explaining what the Deva system is. Basically, this giant corporation turned on a machine, and that's where all the demons came from. From another dimension, universe, world, whatever. And it's like, someone has to stop this guy, this dude at the... <laughs> at the company. Oh no. And then she gives you key cards and get in. And then she faints. So... One of the characters has to stay behind. And, uh... Mark's going off to the factory. So... And then Nate's going with Mark, even though he hates his guts. It's kinda weird. But whatever. <laughs> the ghetto and the rich team up. Alright. And then we have to go back to the school with these three party members. So. Alright, there we go. And then you get to... Well, that's fine. We don't really... Just say it's fine. Well, whatever. We're good. So now we only have three party members. This is why I did grinding before they left the party. Anyway, uh, you can talk to the butterfly and heal. Because it is pretty dangerous on the way back. So we're supposed to go to the school now. And when we go to the school, then we will update and have to go to the police station next. That's part of the story, too, because uh, the police arrest Mark, of course. And you may be thinking, oh, this is bad. You only have three party members. You might die, but it's not really the case at all. You just cast your AoE spell, and, um, well, she's got two of them now, except they are they're not full screen AoEs because she's they're only level seven. So it doesn't really matter because well, the main character is going to take them all out anyway, so... Let's go ahead and use sword. There we go. He should go first because I leveled him up. Give him all agility, allowing him to have turn one spells. And that's a wipeout. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's gonna two shot him. But we do have the overpowered sword. So. And the reason, again, we're using the spells and not our weapons right now is because that's how you level the personas. Once the personas hit, hit level eight, this will allow us to be completely fine. So we'll just replay the last, the, uh, the last thing there. And, uh, Yep, missed, because he's confused, so... Dead. Oh no. Yeah, she's holy based, and that was an undead, or an unholy spell, which her persona is weak to, so that's why it pretty much almost one-shot her. From the, the damage, and then the damage over time, so... <laughs> and you're like, well, you were talking crap saying it's easy, bro, and... Well, it is. It's pretty easy, okay? Because <laughs> technically I have their spell card, I can just run away anyway. I don't even need to heal either of them. They're both 1 HP. It's fine. Uh, let's get to the school now. And uh, here we are. We are at the school, but we gotta get to the gates before getting into another fight. And yes, if we get ambushed, could possibly die. We're fine, though. Did I... I oh, yeah. Front gates appear. This guy just says, oh no, the town is blocked because there's a magic barrier that's holding everyone inside the, inside the town. That's why they can't escape. That's why people from the outside can't get in. So yeah, spooky magic stuff. We have these guys, I believe. Uh, yes, we do. All right, so let's just AOE them down. Just wind all right there. She can defend, because who cares about Yuki. And then I could cast Ice All from the one in the middle, kill the entire front row if I wanted, or I could just have her heal herself. It doesn't matter. Because either this one shots them, either they reflect it, killing main character, killing the party. I forget. And now they're dead, yeah. There you go. They're not wind-based at all, so that's a free level up 
Level 13, all in an agility. There you go. It's pretty. It's just simple. Easy peasy so far at the start of the game. You know, a little over leveled, but that's that's how we like to do it here on the Soul Binge channel. We uh, and there we've reached the school. So this is pretty interesting, right? So normally you can't come to the school and the demons come out because uh, you don't have the password to get in, right? And it's like, my name is Ellen. This person is injured. Can you open the gate? No, you must say the password. I can't let you in if you don't. And the password is, zombies are blue, but my face is white, so you know I'm true. <laughs> oh, jeez, that didn't translate well in today's day and age. Yikes. Yikes, man. <laughs> oh, no, no, the 90s were so different. They really were, guys. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, we're in the school, everything's safe, everything's cool. And then here is where you could diverge on the Japanese version, or if you have a Game Shark, and start the Snow Queen quest instead. We're not doing that, though, for this playthrough. We're going Sebek route. And the Snow Queen quest involves going to a whole different area, and this teacher here puts on the Snow Queen mask, becomes, like, the final boss. And, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just a whole bunch of bollocks. So, there you go. Anyway, so now, um... <laughs> They're gonna go ahead and run ahead. And now we're all by ourselves. Yay, by ourselves. Follow me. I wish I could go back outside and grind at this point because that would be really efficient. But alas, the game won't let me. The game won't let you leave right now. If you try to leave, you can't. And then more dialogue, more exposition because it is an RPG. We can't just kill demons all day, sadly. And it's like, there's a hole in the wall. You gotta go back, go out there and fix it. Anyway, and then now. I can control our character. Awesome stuff. All right, we gotta go to the hole in the wall. So that is southeast, that's down this way. Gonna go run all the way down. We can't sprint in the dungeons, of course. This is as fast as we can go. PSP version fixes this, letting you go hyper turbo fast. Southeast, right here, this is where the hole is. There should be, a, I believe, a fight. I think there's a fight in here. Some monsters get through the hole in the wall. Yeah, this is, uh, you can pick up, uh, I don't know if you can get her yet, but I forget who we talked to. It's been a while. So there's TJ. I don't think that character ever got developed. I wonder if it'll be safe if we plug this hole. Now this is a potential party member. She uses whips and pistols. Pistols really suck in this game. And whips are a status element weapon. Her persona choices in general also suck, so don't really want her as a party member. Hey, you're going already? You're going to Sebek, right? That's what I intended. Yeehaw. It's impossible. Just forget it. <laughs> now, there is... If I went to... I forget the locker room or something, like the gym area. There's some items you can pick up that are okay, but we don't need them. We don't really need them. But they're there if, if you wanted to get them. Anyway, so everyone's like weirded out because Mary's supposed to be like crippled in the hospital. She's just walking around. She's also one of the main characters, main protagonist of the story, by the way. Which you absolutely want to juice up, because there is a part way later in the game where only her and the main character are available in a very high level zone. So if you don't, if you don't level her up too, uh, then you could you soft lock your game. <laughs> uh, like you have to, you have to level up at a certain point if you want the true ending. So anyway, they're like, and she's weirded out. She's like, what are you talking about? Well, I'm not in the hospital. I'm not sick. So, the spoiler alert, you know, it's not the true Mary. It's just the Mary of this this universe, this multiverse, this dimension, whatever, this world. Because there's different worlds, and that's what's kind of going on with the demons, right? How can you tell? She could be a demon. She could be a demon. Uh -oh. It's carry carrying your favorite compact. It's not a demon, guys. I don't know what a compact is. I have no freaking idea. Something from the 90s. Yo, why is Mary here? <laughs> why is she here? Stop joking around, guys. I'm just your regular non-sick, non-in-the-hospital Mary. <laughs> and Mark got caught by the demons at the police station. Which are, by the way, spoilers cops. So, Lamau. <laughs> Cop zombies. We have to rescue them. Here's a gun. Oh, this is where you get guns. Dude, you just get handed a gun. Using a Persona decreases your energy, so use a gun. <laughs> Apparently Mark ran out of mana, so he got caught. Yeah, right, dude, I, I power leveled these dudes. Have you ever been to a police station? Yes, yes, I, well, in the game. Now we gotta equip our guns, guys. And we have special bullets, so they're gonna be pretty good. 
So, submachine gun, um, pistol. She's also got, uh, we don't want the mop as her weapon, by the way. She joined the party. It didn't tell you. But, um, we'll use gun fist, okay? Which is a weird weapon for her. Um, she's a bow user, so I don't know why she's using a gun fist. But hey, whatever, it works. Uh, give her the, we got 9mm ammo, or we can get blind shot, which is way better. Nate has no weapon for some reason. Um, <laughs> Why, did, why does he not have a weapon? That's a weird glitch. It stripped him of all of his stuff. I have a better weapon than Sonic Sword. I swear, he's got M16. Yeah, of course. He's the one that provided the gun, so he, he gets all the Gucci stuff. Anyway, uh, so there we go. Uh, we are all readied up. Ready to go smash. Oh, we got a form up, too. So, hold on. That is right there. We'll just keep on front row. Well, no, you, you really don't want Mary front row because she's a bow user, so we'll throw in the back. And then you kind of want to do something like this because you're only three party members. And then, of course, as soon as we get Mark out, uh, that's party member number four. And away we go. This is how you can get out of the school, by the way, because, you know, the guards won't let you out. They're like, you gotta stay safe. Girl. Let's hurry. By the way, what exactly is the police? <laughs> this is no time for a joke. See, this is trying to tell you early on that she's not from this world. She's from a world where police don't exist. Crazy, huh? A government organization that keeps the peace and order in society. Therefore, we're going to the police station. Get it? <laughs> uh, am I slowly remembering something? What? The gym. It looks brand new. When did they rebuild it? And they're like, it was redone six months ago. Why are you in the hospital? There you go again, I was never hospitalized. Stop kidding around, guys. Stop kidding around. And it's like, hey, this is... She suffered from amnesia, guys? Like, what's going on? Is she a schizo? She got dementia, bro? What are you mumbling about? Wasting time. Mark's in danger. Let's go. Oh, no. It's a demon. And it's gonna attack her. Oh. So scary. Ha ha ha. You humans are dangerous. I'm going to eat you. Oh, really? Let's see then. <laughs> oh, really? Are you gonna eat me? Oh, really? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little rather than like a normal demon. We can't lose. Don't push it. Oh no. Shoots bow, dodges four, five shots because I got the casino one. Ah ha ha. Hey, you got two turns in a row, you cheater. Freaking hacker. Uses ice magic dead. Kills him. Kills him immediately. You know, I grinded for a while. I never got the Mabufu stone. So, um, yeah, that sucks. I'll just have to play it with casino, like, stones instead. It's not as efficient. If you get Mabufu stone from Jack Frost, you can just nuke everything at the start of the game. Oh well, it's fine. Yeehaw! Killed the demon. That was a persona, the power from my mind, another self within me. Persona's a Latin word, which means mask. I don't think that's what that means, but okay. <laughs> Angels and demons coexisting, baby. Anyway, blah blah blah, storyline deposition, blah blah blah, go to the police station. There we go now? Hey, look at <laughs> messed up my formation. There we go. And then I hit okay, and then yeah, okay, we can just exit out. Alright. Hey, is it gonna give me Mark's weapon back? <laughs> I doubt it. Or Nate, I'm sorry, I got the name wrong. Yeah, it took away the weapon forever. What the hell is a bug? It's not, it's not a weapon I was supposed to have this early anyway, and it's not like he's going to be swinging a sword much, so it doesn't really matter then. It doesn't really matter, you know? All right, and we are back out into the world map once again. Yes, indeed, here we go. Oh, I want to show you how cool guns are, because guns are very intense in this game, okay? So, uh... We got submachine gun, and then her gun is a pistol, which you can't reach because she's in the back row, but her bow can. And then Nate's got the M16, so check these out. Back in the day, that was freaking cool, man. Like, the voice acting, the sound of the guns, and the sound effects was unseen in RPGs in 1996. I'm telling you, it was absolutely revolutionary. And, uh, yeah, you can sprint, so, uh, there you go. And, uh... <laughs> We're gonna go to the Sun Mall, see if I can uh, fuse Personas. I don't think I can yet. I'm not sure if the game will let me, but it is a good good little save point. Uh, just gonna go ahead and step in, 
see if it lets me in. I don't think it will yet. Yeah, it's, it still can't. Personas. I, need, I do need to get rid of a spell card, though, uh, because uh, I have the limit right now, and I need at least zombie comp. I need zombie comp. I can fuse some really cool stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get to the let's get to the police station, right? And I it might let me buy armor right now. It you know what? Let's see if it'll let me buy armor. I forget. It's been many, many, many years before I've actually tried. And yeah, the stores are still open because that's just how management is, man. They're like, oh, demons outside. You better not call into work. <laughs> so let's see if uh, we can get some some upgrades, some armor upgrades. It might. Oh, there's just no one here. <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess they didn't show up for work. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> oh, they called in today. There's, there's no. It's like, it's like, it's like a current times. There's no employees in the store. I don't remember which way the police station is, so I'm just gonna not go to the pharmacy. I'm gonna go out north and uh, yeah, figure it out. <laughs> you know, what? I'll see you there. All right, we have made it to the police station. All right, I do need to get zombie girl. No, I already, I have a zombie girl. Uh, let's see. I need to get Zombie Cop and Ukabak. Uka I don't know what they're called in the American version, but uh, there's a few I do need to get for the fusions. So. And uh, can I move upward now? There we go. <laughs> All right. So yeah, police station time. You would think that the cops had just gunned down everything, but there are demons that are bullet immune, so... Like, what? What is this place? Is this the police station? Oh yeah, that's right. I remember now. Uh huh. Let me see. Mark must be in jail. <laughs> we can't just open the cell without the key. What should we do? Maybe it's somewhere around here. Let's try to find it. Yeah, that's right. Help us look for it. So this basically is uh <laughs> tries to teach you that you can inspect and loot things, right? And the characters are they're gonna you know walk around a few steps and then do nothing. Wow, it could be in this box that says key on it. So let's just. <laughs> Open this. Oh, you found the cell key. You got the cell key. Something, uh, it's kind of Resident Evil-ish. I think this came out before Resident Evil. I don't remember. Alright, now we can in teleport the NPCs back into the position. Alright, let's go into the dungeon! I am really hungry in real life. I should have ate before filming. Oh well. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, here we go. This is, uh... All right, I, rem I remember this route, okay? Um, interesting enough, on the PSP version, that Just Say No poster is actually a doorway to a save room, I think, if I remember right. But two steps in, <laughs> there's a battle. That's a that's a recurring trend here. We're going to do a little bit of battles. There's some zombie cops. Oh, there's these guys. What are these guys? Oh, Blitz Tack. What are these guys called? These are Shark Tooth. I think I need them. I think, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just going to... See if they're gun immune. Now, Mary's still level 5 with her persona, so she has to cast spells while these guys use guns. Hopefully they don't have bullet reflection. <laughs> that would be so mean to have mobs with bullet reflection on your first encounter in the police station as soon as you get a gun. Alright, here we go. Bang! Yeah, it does so much damage. <laughs> Weapons have a chance to hit multiple times. That's why these, uh, these guns are hitting multiple times, by the way. And then we're just going to replay that. That's going to be our basic go-to for the entire dungeon. I know I know everyone's slightly hurt, but it's fine. We, we're powered up or over-leveled. We can always come back here, I believe, and get more Persona if we're not locked into a zone. So I'm not too worried. And then once you get to the overworld, then you can go to the ruins and fight every encounter anyway. Alright, let's go. Going through the maze. Yep, yeah, just going to do it like like this. It's a, this is a really simple maze, too. Now, you can get Brad here at this point in the game, and we're going to decline Brad because we want Ellen. All right, zombie cops. We do need these guys, so let's go ahead and get ready to talk to them. And there we go. Contact, yes. Okay, let's see if they can be bribed because they are cops. So we're going to bribe... <laughs> we're going to bribe the zombie cops. Oh, that just makes them angry. Uh-oh. <laughs> Give me some of your power. Okay, yeah, here you go. Feels good. Look at that big boost of interest. <laughs> um, all right. How about Mary? She can, um, she can shudder. Be scared of them. Demons, I'm scared. They're coming near me. No. Yeah, that make that gives him a power trip. So there you go. 
Um, so that makes him interested. He wants a magic stone. He can have one. That made him happy. Yeah, boy. Shudder again. Be afraid. I lost my way around here. Did it appear? Forgive me. No. Do I look as good as a demon? <laughs> Very filled it with pride. There you go. What do you want from me? Spell card. Like what? Too many cards. Why don't you throw one out? Okay, so we gotta throw one out. We uh. You throw a goblin. I don't think we need goblin, because uh, we don't need the physical ones. That would be a goblin. Yeah, we just get rid of goblin. Will you throw the goblin spell card? Yeah. Yeah. You have thrown that goblin spell card. Cool. Oh. But if you turn this into a Persona too soon, it might go bad. You already said that. Other zombies have said that already. Yeah, yeah. Zombie cop. No spaces in between the names. That's the old school way to do it. All right, and back into the dungeon. This is floor one. Now, this is the hard part, is like, which way was I going? Well, luckily, I remember I was going in reverse. <laughs> uh, this is why you should almost always face which direction you're going. All right. <laughs> and yes, I'm using stra I'm strafing. Okay. I remember the way. We're going we're gonna to point towards the way so that I don't forget where I'm going. <laughs> And we're gonna go this way, yeah. Correct path. I know it is. I think there's a save point on the second floor. I'll do it just in case I accidentally fuck up and recruit Brad. Okay, these guys are really good too. I think this is what I needed. The magic urns? I can get them later though. Uh, I don't remember if they're gun immune. Poison cure and cure. We're just, just, just cast chill. Just cast uh, Bufu, as it's called in Persona. Only one hit. Oh, lame. I need better guns. We'll get better guns later on. All right now, these are just the starter guns. Yep. Again, we have to we have to cast these spells a lot so she can level up. Fire no no good. That one defended. So it takes less damage from the bullets. Way less damage. There you go. Now just just repeat the the process. Just gun them down. Yep. Feels bad. This game, again, the, the soundtrack was great for its time. It was truly special. That's why you, well, I'm, I'm playing it. This is good. It's a good game, guys. I'm not saying go, go out and play it. Don't, here's the thing, okay? The PSP version has com a complete different soundtrack than I'm not a fan of. I think the PSP soundtrack sucks. I think it's awful. Yeah, if you bump into the walls. And my D-pad's a little rusty, so I'm accidentally turning around when I shouldn't be. Yeah, no safe point up here either. Eh, stop turning around. Whatever. Go back down. Yeah, there's the room we gotta go in. That's uh, this. That's the uh, prison cell. And uh, go free Mark. And then decline Brad. Simple. All right. Well, we can make the cops go away. I, zombie comp. Zombies are immune to guns in this game, so there's no point in shooting undead. Also, you can't cast cure on um, on them either. I wish, uh, I didn't unlock his AoE. I unlocked his AoE buff. So we'll just cast single target spells. Cause again, I gotta unlock this stuff. But if I'm gonna replace all the personas with fire, ice, holy and unholy anyway, that's usually what I do. That way they can all survive a big attack. Unless the enemy starts mixing angels and demons in the party, then it's like, ugh. It's full moon and they AoE the party, it's game over. It's full moon right now, actually. Titan, uh-oh, here we go. Yeah, that didn't hurt too bad. Take it. <laughs> I wish I could skip the animations though. You know, that was some quality of life changes that the newer games have, but you don't see that in the old games. You had to sit through all these animations. All right, now we can just kill them with normal attacks, guys. Just go run up and slash them. There you go. Just kill them. Feels good. This game hit, like the attacks have a lot of weight to it, which you didn't really see in the '90s. Pretty fun stuff. Here we go, go save Mark. Now, I can't skip the dialogue too fast because I want to decline Brad because I don't want him in my party. He, he's an okay party member, but I don't want him. <laughs> His voice is annoying. His persona summoning voice. Yo, who's there? Damn, I'll kill you all. Get me out of here. <laughs> Just kick back. Don't piss him off, dude. Kiss up and they'll let you out. Oh, what? There you are. You okay? Brad is here too. Haha, uh -huh, you fools look like some caged up. Oh, I'm not saying that word. <laughs> this, this game, again, the 90s is showing itself, guys. <laughs> I didn't write the story, don't blame me. I know, I know, you all missed me, huh? 
Oh, Brad, you're still here? Ouch. What is this fool talking about? I didn't even know you were here. Oh yeah, by the way, why are you here? <laughs> Let's just get him out. Just, just get him. She unlocks his cell first. Why does she have the key? I'm the one that looted it. Jeez. Why did she pickpocket that, right? Not a thing. Even I can kill these damn demons without any weapons. So we came here looking for something useful, but we ended up like this instead. Damn it, Brad, I want you to say anything. <laughs> Barry, what are you doing here? Are you supposed to, are you supposed to be out here? Why is everyone so concerned? I am perfectly fine. Okay, just make sure. Whatever. Who's there? You know, this these these chaps, these fine gentlemen here. You should stay in your cell like you're supposed to. Like you're supposed to. This is supposed to be creepy dialogue. But it doesn't really work when you're reading the text. Shut the heck up. They're not be your stupid jokes. Gosh. Something's wrong with these guys. This, this guy broke out of his cell. He's armed and dangerous. Execute them. This is <laughs> this is like real life, by the way. <laughs> they're not demons. They're just <laughs> execute, execute, execute. Stop resisting. <laughs> Kill them all. Yeah, yeah, they're demons. If you, if you couldn't figure that out, by the way. <laughs> uh, it's so true to American police, though, right? So yeah, here we go. You get the guy in the middle. This is like a boss fight, isn't it? Oh, crap. You're the one who's gonna die. So interesting, that it's a 5v5, right? He's got his little whip. Kill, kill, kill. Kill them all. And then uh, the party is just like, nah, fam. Just do dodge the zombie swipes. You'll notice that they have guns in their hands, too. The zombie cops, they can shoot you. And at this part of the game, bullets really hurt your party, which is interesting. So, this is all just a cutscene. Uh, they're just gonna cast their basic persona spells. What the? <laughs> he's like, what the fuck is this? Right? Because they have personas, and he's not used to seeing people cast literal spells. That's why it's showing the exclamation point every time. So he's surprised. And of course, you know, the demon is surprised too, but... <laughs> they did a lot of sprite work in this game, man. Very unappreciative of today's like standards. They worked really hard on this game. So I wish you could deal as much damage as zombie cops with these basic spells, but whatever. And it's like, what's going on? <laughs> what's happening? If I can't kill you all, I'll just kill the weak, pathetic one. <laughs> so he casts chill on the non-persona user, which would be a very fatal attack. I don't want to die. <sighs> This one's a little more akin to the more future games where you get put into a life or death situation. He's got a pretty cool one. That's like a little fire winged angel thing, bird. I don't know, but it's free level up time because it's a storyline battle. There you go. <laughs> way overpowered, by the way. Yeehaw. Now, we got to make sure we decline Brad, okay? Can't, can't let him in the party. Can't let him do it. He is not allowed. He can go fuck off, do his own thing. Because if we say yes to him, we can't get Ellie back. It's a full moon. Oh, snap. What? Did I just do that? What the heck was that? What? Y you too? I would at least think that... Uh, could... <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not reading that either. Stop saying that word, dude. <laughs> so I'll explain. Just sit down and listen up. Fades to black. Yep. Of course it does. That's how these games did it. Damn, heck yeah. So I'm a hero after all. See, I knew I was different. I had this feeling since I was a kid. Oh yeah, it's all about me. <laughs> I guess this guy getting all excited or whatever. Anyway, is it cool if I go with you guys? I feel a bit uneasy leaving this up to you. So Mark is forced into the party. It's fine though. Uh, so Mark and Nate, Mark, Nate, Mary are main characters. All right, I'll give you the security card. That's, they misspelled all right. You know that's not how you spell all right. Pretty sure that's not how you spell it. That's a spelling error. It's fine. It's the 90s. Here, here's here's your gun. Don't shoot me with it. Hey, I know you're all just wishing for me to come along. I don't think any of you take has what it takes to become a hero. Like spirit. Stop lying to yourself. You know you want my company. So what's up? <laughs> Do you want to take him along? And we want to say no. Won't take you with me. We don't want him. Oh, serious? You won't regret it? Okay, fine. I'll just go back to school then. <laughs> Sigh. You're gonna regret this. No, I'm not. All right, let's us uh, change the positions of our characters. Mary, in the back. What? Nate up front. Yeah, it's fine. No, I didn't save it. Whatever. Ugh, open the menu. 
Go to form, because I didn't save it. Put Mary dead center back, bro. Put Nate center front. Save it to form A, there you go. And then equip everyone with their guns, because I forgot to do that. Yes, get it, <laughs> old school RPG stuff, man. Uh, let's see. Mark has dual axe instead of the basher for some reason. So yeah, look at that huge difference. He's got the R custom, which is shotgun. He is a shotgun user. Okay. Yes, we have 3.5k. Let's get the hell out of here. Which, um, I forget, does it make me run back through the dungeon? I think it does. It does. Well, I'm gonna skip this part because you've already seen it. Alright, so we're back at the casino. I wanted to show you guys something crazy, okay? So Codebreaker, this is uh this is an interesting game. And the way it works is you have to guess a code. Um Essentially, you can only play with metal cards. You can only get metal cards from rare monster drops. I have two of them after mass grinding for uh, like two hours, okay? So, what you do is you play the card, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and play the card right now. And then you have to make a guess as to what the number is. So you might think this is mathematically impossible, but you can manipulate the game with certain steps so that you always get a number outcome. However, the prize isn't that great. This one is 99 metal cards, so this will save us a lot of grinding. So, I if I did it right, I should have the number correct here. And again, this is mathematically impossible to do, but through game manipulation, which means taking certain amounts of steps in the game world, will allow you to be able to do this. So this should work if I did my step count correctly. And I did. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So there we go, now we have 99 metal cards. So we can play this and get lots and lots of crazy super good items. Yes, 99 metal cards, let's go, come on game, come on. Bingo! <laughs> oh, this is, you, you'll never legitimately do this in like 100 million years. It's so stupid that they would let you... Uh, that they would even have a prize for your first attempt. To get, You would have to guess... Look, th this is akin to almost winning the lottery. I'm gonna look up the odds to guess nine random numbers one through nine correctly. All right, according to a website, if I did, if I played it incorrectly, it's a one in two hundred and sixty million eight hundred eighty-seven. No, it's two one in two hundred sixty billion eight hundred eighty-seven million eight hundred thirty-four thousand three hundred fifty chance of getting these numbers on the screen correct. So of course the prizes are ridiculous, but we can we can continue to manipulate the game's step data and win every single time. All right, so I did one off camera and I got a full gem set, which I probably won't bother using. Uh, let's see if I can keep this up. I only have so much data to do this and every machine gives a different prize, okay? That one machine I did gave me 99 cards. This one's gonna give me a goddess set if I do it correctly. I, I forget what a goddess set even is. Uh, so let's see if I got this again. You will never ever 280 something billion chance to get this. So it better be something really good, okay? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen any other YouTubers actually figure out this, but... Oh, I f***ed it up. I, uh, damn it. <laughs> well, the next prize is Alexandria. I'm not sure what that is. Um, so I'm gonna go... I, I just wanna check what the prize is. Let's see, so... I, it's, I know it's this one. In this co it's this number, so... There we go, okay, got a second try. So, yeah, I fucked it up. But hey, what is Alexandria? Bingo. <laughs> what a fun tune. What is Alexandria? What the fuck is that? I, I mean, I know it's a it's a persona, but they're not just gonna give me a persona. No, I don't wanna play Codebreaker. They're not gonna just give me a persona this early in the game. So what what are you, Alexandria? So we got all the, all the stones. Turquoise? D did they just give me a persona? I gotta go check. That is insane. Um, I don't think I can check it from the menu though, can I? Magic personas. Change. Nope. Dang it, I'm still bad at menuing, guys. Okay. Persona. Status. Yeah, I <laughs> I gotta go to the, the velvet room to check. That's wild. All right. Well, I didn't want to Alexander. I think it's just a gemstone. So we gotta we we know the. We know the answer. I, I'm save scumming. I have the proper steps. It should be proper. I think same code. I did the steps correctly. And this was a seven, not an eight. I'll have to change my data. And uh, yeah, there we go. Got a set. 
There we go, we got it. Whatever that is, I don't know. <laughs> Bingo. Uh, now, if I play this again, will it make me... Or will it give me another goddess set? Very cool. Thank you for the bingo, lads. Alright, let's see. Let's put another card in. Yeah, it's another goddess set. Cool. So, don't need one of those. Maybe. Alright, we're doing more Code Breaker. I actually did a lot of off-screen grinding and shopping, so I've got a lot of characters decked out. Now, we're gonna fail the first one here, because the first one is 99 metal cards. We don't need that, but we want the second prize, which should be a Chill Stone or a Mabufu Stone in the Japanese version. So we definitely want this one and I have one number wrong on purpose and that number is right here at the bottom. So we're gonna increase that by one. There we go, that should be the solution. Got it, okay, cool. So Chillstone, we're going to use that to make a persona. Love the little theme song, it's pretty fun. Um, we're gonna make a persona now with the Chillstone. I can't escape, there we go. All right, let's get out of here. So we're gonna make a persona with the Chillstone. It's going to learn Chill All as its eighth ability or seventh or something like that, which is gonna let us nuke most of the game early on. All right, uh, I gotta go get another slime though because I need to make a pixie. All right, it's time for the Velvet Room. It is, uh, it's just about the same as the other personas. It's a, this is the OG Velvet Room, the original, very classy. Like, hearing this for the first time in a video game, 1996, is just unbelievably, like, crazy. This kind of music did not exist in video games back then, I'm telling you. And, and this music's iconic, okay? So we're gonna fusion, because we got a slime, and we're gonna do full service. And we're doing this a special way, okay? We're going to form Pixie, which is a really crappy persona, but we're gonna make it super overpowered. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure slime is the second choice on the fusion, not the first choice. And then we're going to add the Mabufu Stone, which in this version of the game is called Chill Stone, because this is small chant damage with ice uh, against everyone. Uh, it doesn't show it in the spell list, but it's going to, in that seventh slot, it's going to give it uh, Chill All. And uh, there you go. Now we're going to form the persona. Hopefully everything goes right. There is a percent chance things could go wrong, so I did save before this. And I don't know what that is, if that's a cell phone or what, but it's kind of weird, but... I don't know, man. Just use your imagination. Anyway, we got the Wraith and the Pixie, or the Slime. That's how you make a Pixie. <laughs> and interesting enough, if you level up your Pixie to 8 and then try to communicate with the actual Pixie monster, you can, like, take over their mind or something. It's pretty interesting. Alright, looks like there was no problems. This is Lover's Pixie. Please take, get there. Please take good care of it. Alright, and we're replacing Mary's persona with this, so Mary will be using the Pixie. As her second switch, that is. Not always, not all the time. Remember, you can use three personas at a time. So we are going to back out now, and then we're going to equip it, which is Deliver. And we're going to go to Mary now. There she is, and we're going to give her Pixie. I also formed Brax off camera, which can't use yet. No one's high enough level to use him. And that's fine. That's for later. Because <laughs> he's, uh, he's strong against, I forget, I think magic. So there we go. Now, we have, now Mary has Pixie. All is good, and that's the Velvet Room. So I forgot to mention, I did the fusion on a new moon, which is what grants the ability whenever we level Pixie up all the way. But here's the, another thing too, is we're leveling Pixie up all the way, and then we're gonna get Mary killed until Pixie gives up her power to revive Mary, which will then reset Pixie to level one again. But she keeps all her stats, okay? Pixie levels up to 8 and gets a big boost of stats. And then when we level her down to 1 again, she keeps those stats. And when we level her up to 8 again, she will have even higher stats than before. This makes her an absolutely beast of a starter persona. And because she's going to be able to nuke the entire field, it's just... It's just free. It's just free damage. So here's Pixie's stats at level 8. You can see that 94 luck is very nice to have, but we're gonna rank her back down to 1, and then re-level her up once again, and it's gonna, yeah, we get to keep that stat, by the way. And of course we need her to die, and the fastest way to do that is just poison her with the strength drink, or whatever it's called, the STR drink. We got her poison down to 1 HP, we're gonna walk back outside the mall, let her get killed, hopefully her persona will reawaken reviving her, if not, we just keep reviving her with items until it, until it works, it's pretty simple. And she's in the front row, so it should be pretty quick. All right, so this is the setup. We got our one HP, and we have a fight here. And uh, we're just gonna make everyone defend except her. She's gonna shoot one of them, and then the poisoner killer off her persona might reawaken here. 
reviving her, so that's why we're hoping. These these mobs don't tend to fight, they just tend to debuff, so it's kind of a crappy encounter, but hey, look, that one killed her. Is it gonna work? Nope, oh, okay. Um, well, that sucks. So the only way around it now is to basically revive her with an item. Put her in the front row, except these guys are not good killers, so... And there we go, secret power achieved. And, and now it revives her. Pixie revives her. She comes back to life. Pixie now rank one again, but keeps all the stats. So we'll just finish these guys off real quick. And uh, they do absorb wind magic, unfortunately. So I can't really cast spells on them with this guy. He can't do anything. He can not He can reach with a gun, I guess. And again, they see, there you go. Reset back to level one. She has none of her spells. Uh, unfortunately, she's too close because she's a bow user. Just gonna have to gun them down. I don't think Mark can actually kill any of them. Not sure if they absorb gravity, we'll find out, but we should be able to gun them down pretty easy. Anyway, now we gotta level uh, Pixie back up to at least two, and what that's gonna do is we get chill all, but it's gonna be super pumped up. It's gonna be absolutely juicing, and it's really, really easy to level it back up. So, let me show you. <laughs> We're gonna go to magic here, and then persona, and then go to Mary. You can see it's back to five plus one again, status. Look at that look. It is right, it's still there, and we're gonna juice it up some more. And here it is completed. So, for those that don't understand, luck can't go over 99, and that's not what we're after. It's the two stats under luck, okay? The OMP and DMP. So, that stands for offensive magic power and defensive magic power. So, what this means is that we have 286 offensive magic power on Pixie, which is insane. That's a huge amount, okay? Let me just show you, like, Maria here has 82, that is uh, Mary's standard persona. And then if we go to our main character, his is only 86. So you can see it's, uh, <laughs> it's like three and a half times more powerful. 50, 60, 80, yeah, it's, it's pretty insane. So, uh, that's why we did it. Now we're really, really juiced up. All right, we are here at the factory. That way we can, uh, hello game. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that way we can go in through the underground passageway to get to the Sebek headquarters. And here is more story, and look at all that graffiti. Here we are, the secret cargo entrance. That the punk Guido would pick a place like this. Mark painted this, it's very good, isn't it? Of course he does graffiti. Wait a minute, you used to come here a lot, right? Heck yeah, my band Terrors used to mess it up and use this place as our studio all the time. That would be really bad acoustics. If you used to play here a lot, don't you know the spec used to this place too? He's like, nah, nah fam. Don't know that. Shut up! Stupid is as stupid doesn't. What? Stupid is as stupid does, you moron. The banter is pretty good between the characters in this game. A lot of current games don't have good banter, sad. Hey, I see someone! Who's there? Come out! And this is where we have to reject Alana to our party, because uh, we don't want her. We want Ellen, or Ellie. Anyway, she's a she's a pistol and whip user. Her personas aren't bad, but she's got an annoying voice, annoying character. Don't want her in the party. I don't need status element whips. Like, they do low damage, pistols do low damage. I just don't want her. I've played through the game with every character, including the secret one, which I'm not doing. And uh, I prefer Ellie the best. The secret character is right at the end of the game, but at the start of the game, he sucks. His weapon is fists, and I think he uses rifles, but so does Ellie, so whatever. So she's gonna be like, can I tag along? When? It's like, no, fam. Nope. We have to do our Persona Awakening, which is a free level up. I'm coming too. I don't want to be alone. And they're like, no, it's dangerous. Do we just take her with us? Are you gonna take her along? I won't take you with me, sorry. See you later. No, I'm going no matter what. <laughs> Is it cool there, everyone? Yeah, whatever. I said no, I'm the party leader. Don't pull any jokes. Let's spread out and look for the entrance. Alright, so the entrance is... Is it this box? I forget. Actually, I honestly forget. It's been a long time. Yeehaw! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> whoops, I forgot to go get Ellen from the subway. That's right, you gotta go to the subway to get Ellen, otherwise a lot of force joins you, which is what happened. So I, I reloaded the save, 
And now we're gonna get Ellen here. So, um, because we want El we don't want Elana. Alright. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there you go. This place is all messed up. I'm afraid so. I went all over. I couldn't find a way out. By the way, where is everyone? Are they searching for clues? Now, you come to the subway later, which I thought... Uh, I, the way I remember it is you just deny Alana, and then you go four mans to back, and then you can come and get her, but I guess not, because she force joins, and I, I don't want to risk it. So I just came here and got her now, right? Because I'm not supposed to do subway yet. May I go with you? I would like to do my own research, too. And then, yes, let's go together. There we go. Now we have Ellie... <laughs> Uh, should have got her earlier while I was power leveling, but it's fine. She should join. Uh, take this gun. <laughs> I'm not really fond of the idea of girls carrying guns. Oh, by the way, the goddess set that we got earlier from the code breaker, uh, it's for women only, so Mary already has hers equipped, and then Ellen, I have another set for her. Which, uh, this is ideal setup. Uh, basically, you want her front row. You want everyone front row, really, but it's fine. So that's fine, we'll save it as form A. There we go. We got our, we got our permanent party. Okay, and now I gotta equip her with all her good stuff. So, uh, equip Ellen with proper weapons here. So, I should have bought her a second sword, but the Dirk is fine. She has AK-47. Yeah, and we also upgraded to Weary Shot, uh, by the way. So there we go. Now we have Fever Crown and Light Suit with Granite Arm and Metal Boots. So the women are better equipped than the men, by the way. This is, uh, this is what we got on everybody. It's pretty strong. Alright, there we go. Got Ellen, so we can get the hell out of the subway now. And now we can go to factory and do that whole all over again. I'm not replaying the cutscene though. Oh, I miss subtle differences, okay? When you enter and they talk about Mark's art, Ellen compliments him, which I skipped over before I hit record, but then Mark is like, Yeah, I married Ellen, no great art when they see it. Alright, just ignore the last clip. Why are you walking around alone? Did something happen at the school? What? I almost died coming here. Don't you have anything better to say? It was died, what do you mean? What happened at the school? It was awful. Who said it was safe at school? The school is gone. What? What happened to TJ and the others? You ran away by yourself? How should I know? I came on my own to find out what's going on around here. So yeah, the school vanished. We have to go and help find the others? Oh no. Relax, the school's disappearance has something to do with Guido's machine. It'd be faster to find Guido and have him turn things back to normal. I'm coming too! I don't want to stay here alone. Nah, we're full. Full, bro. I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> It'd be better to find a safe hiding place. I think she's right. It's dangerous out there without a persona. It'd be better to hide somewhere. What's with everyone? Fine then, I hope you all die. See how the, the mood kind of changed. <laughs> uh, it's funny, because just having Ellen is just like, oh, I don't want to be with her. Gross. I feel sorry for <laughs> it's such a It's such a contrast. Anyway, <laughs> no one really gives a shit, right? Anyway, there should be a slot for the security card in here somewhere. Let's spread out and find it. And everyone spreads out. And I remember now, it's you gotta go up the stairs, and it's at the back. Yes, it's all the way back here, where it should be. It, like, what is this button right here? You found the slot for the security card, woo, yeah. In the most obvious place possible. <laughs> they made the spray run all the way up here. Did you find anything? <laughs> it's right here, said the silent protagonist. <laughs> Points at it. Even though he speaks during combat. What is it? It's an elevator. Use it! Use it now! Use it immediately! Wait a minute, we don't know what will happen! Never mind that. <laughs> Just use, use the damn thing. What's happening? Oh no, earthquake. See, I told you. <laughs> uh, is this supposed to signify flashing? The lights are going crazy. Yeah, just fade the scene out and fade it back in. Old school ways that people did fun little map tricks. Good stuff. All right, <laughs> here it is. That uh, that actually was pretty technological to do that little sprite work right there. That took insane amounts of work. I bet that took someone like a week to program back in the day. Like, graphics weren't no known to do that. This is exciting. All these high-tech gadgets, just like in the movies. <laughs> yeah, they're not impressed by their ability to summon magical creatures. They just, oh, this is cool technology. Wow. Come down here. And then, of course, instead of running down, it's got to just fade you out and back in. Because that's too hard to do. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right, yeah, we get it. Don't ever touch things without knowing what it is. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. 
Yeehaw! On the elevator, everybody! <laughs> Does it make me automatically go on the elevator? Does it make me move my sprite onto the elevator? Okay, no, nah, it, it did. Now, I could talk to everyone and get their opinions like this. There must be a lot of demons here. I don't know why, but this is kind of exciting. <laughs> I would be excited. There's two doors. It doesn't matter which one you pick. I don't think it matters. At least I don't remember it mattering. But yeah, and now we are in the dungeon. Nah, it doesn't matter what door you pick. Alright, for the sake of the video, because these dungeons start to get extremely, extremely complex, I'm going to show you the route with random encounters turned off, and then I'm going to um, turn them back on. That way I can actually grind out and, you know, kill the monsters, get the spell cards, all that. So. We are at the start of the secret corridors. This is called the Underground Passage. We're going to go this way. And then we're going to take a left. You can just follow along, pause it, slow down the video if you're following along at home, if you even play this. There is a switch on the wall. You have to look at it. A lever. Do you want to pull it? Yes. So we're going to pull the lever now. It's going to open up this passage that is this way. And again, there will be lots of random encounters. All right, this is the passage that opened. I'm going to go this way because there's another lever to hit which is right here, and you open this lever, and we're gonna go ahead and pull that. I'm still facing north, by the way. Then we're gonna go this way, all right. And that's gonna take us to a staircase. And there we go, we are now in the Sebek headquarters, okay? So, now that you know how to get here, <laughs> I'm gonna grind for a bit because that's uh, that's part of the game. All right, so um, apparently I don't know how to unhack uh, the game to make encounters come back, so I had to hard load and get Elle Ellie again and <laughs> do everything again. Oh gosh. Well, anyway, we're here now. We've entered the doorway. I believe this is the. I, I don't remember which way to go, but um, we're gonna go this way, and if it's the right way, it's the right way. But this should put us in the Sebek building. Yes, we are in Sebek now, which is interesting because it's just a little crappy side door. But we have a save point and I believe a velvet room nearby. I don't remember which one's which, so I have to explore. Let's see, is this the save point? I'm hoping it is so that I can create... No, this is a, the healing fairy. Yeah, she'll charge you some, some money. I'm Kelly and this is the Fountain of Youth. I can't live without money, so gimme gimme. <laughs> <laughs> gimme gimme money guys I don't I don't need to heal boo you called me for no reason you stupid jerk <laughs> you called me for no reason how dare you uh, it's like I didn't know what I was walking into bro why does this business have a healing fairy room huh that's something new you know not a ping pong table room not a uh, a quiet room no a healing fountain of youth in your business room Okay, here's the damn save point. <laughs> and you can see that I, I've left this game idle a lot, so don't judge me based on my hours played. You better not do it, okay? Because uh, I think it's over eight hours at this point. But um, a lot of that's grinding, a lot of that's AFKing, just leaving the game running while I do like a million other things because I am a YouTuber. I have literal communities of people that I talk to all the time. MMOs to play, <laughs> level 19, eight hours in. Don't judge, you better not, you better not judge. Anyway, I gotta figure out a better way to film uh, navigating through these places, okay? Because um, it was really, really hard to undo the No Encounters hack. By the way, I don't remember if I uh, showed you this or not, but this is what a fully juiced up character looks like at the start of the game. I'm just gonna cast Chill All with the main character because that's who I gave the persona to. Uh, Mary leveled up because she's more in tune with the lover's persona, but look at the damage. It's just, uh, it just deletes everybody. <laughs> It's way overkill, and uh, yeah, we're basically doing that the entire game. Alright, let me show you the dungeon route from the save point, okay? Uh, let's see here. Now, this is Sebek headquarters, and I will show you the map. We are going to continuously face north. We're on the first floor building, so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to go to that elevator, which is straight ahead of this way, and uh, I believe it's this way. Should, should be, yeah, there it is. And we're gonna go to the fifth floor. Yeah, there's a trap there in the middle. <laughs> Watch out for that. And uh, go to the fifth floor. All right. So then we're going to walk our way down. There we go. Beep. And out we go. Now this is the. This is such a horrendously just, just awful maze. Okay, we're gonna go over here. 
take the first left, go all the way down, go all the way right. Don't worry about anything else on this floor. Yeah, there's some items. Um, now, we do have to come back here, I believe, after we fight the boss to escape, I think. Uh, we'll get to more, more on that later, okay? So now we're on the fourth floor. Alright, fourth floor. I forget what the rooms in front of me are. I think, um, I think this is actually... Is, is this a velvet room? I have to check. I have to make sure. It's not a velvet room. Could be. Yeah, it's the velvet room. Cool. Alright, so we don't need the velvet room. But there is one in the dungeon because we are kind of, uh... We're not really stuck in here. But it's just nice to have so you don't have to go all the way back to the mall or go to town or whatever. So yeah, Velvet Room is right there on the fourth floor. Now, if you're playing a PSP, you, you can actually go through that wall, but um, we're not on PSP, we're on the harder version. <laughs> so, we're going to go t down to the third floor immediately. There we go. Alright, now that we're on the third floor, we're going to go left again. This is a mostly left dungeon, by the way. You mostly go left. Run all the way down the hallway. Run up. And now we're on floor two. Okay, floor two is a little bit more complex because we're, we're going to go up and we're going to follow the outer upper left area all the way around like this. Alright, just like this. Whoops, not bad. <laughs> uh, held the button a little too hard there. And there we go. Now we're back on the first floor, this time in the proper area. And from there, we will now down and then left this is the yes this is first floor all right and this would go back up to the second floor by the way if you need it to and this goes back up to the third floor okay and then again fourth floor again yeah th this is meant to confuse the hell out of you and fifth floor all right and this takes you to where you need to be. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's a real it's really annoying, but um that's that's how to do Sebek and this is the first major major la labyrinth. It only gets more complicated from here, guys. All right, let's go through that door. And um I think the interesting thing about this area of the game is sometimes you will encounter other humans, not demons. And uh, they're basically like secret service or secret agents, like like Men in Black, right? They had the suits on, and they fight with guns and uh, martial arts. And if you don't power level early in this game, whenever they use gun attacks, they can just kill everybody, especially if you have personas that are weak to guns. And in this fight, you're going to see some of them. This is a boss fight. So we got Guido here, and then we have Tiny, which is um, <laughs> uh, kind of like the mafi mafioso kind of guy, right? So, uh, and, and basically that dialogue is like, are you ready? This is literally a boss fight. You better be ready. So, here we go. We're gonna fight Tiny and his goon squad. And I think Guido is there for the start of the fight, and then he, he screws off. But, um, yeah. Fun times. So, <laughs> bunch of high school students enter a literal, uh, you know, multi-millionaire, possibly billionaire businessman's office. Kids again? How did you get in here? <laughs> Tiny is Guido's sidekick. He's in charge of every unlawful activity at Sebek. How, how, how are you supposed to know that? Why, what, what, how is that fair? And then this is the main bad guy, the main villain of the story, sort of, not entirely, but um, he's a strange person. He's basically Jeff Bezos. <laughs> uh, right. And then you know this is just uh, just some banter, blah 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 story. <laughs> You arrogant fool, I will never forgive you. Hey, old man, don't be acting like you have all the time in the world. It's payback, man. So this is Guido. Just like I expected. It's, uh, it's, it's every college Zoomer's dream to, you know, bust into someone's office and uh, use magical abilities to take out the evil CEO. This game, this game, you know, called it, like, what, 20, 30 years ago. Look at this. See, this is pretty cool because it's like a human fight, right? And you think, uh, you think that these are just chumps, right? Because Tiny here, oh, what is he? He's just human, right? Nah, he's... Spoiler alert, he's also a Persona user. So is Guido. <laughs> See, this, like, I'll just use my Persona and beat you up. Not a big deal, right? And then they're like... It's like, yeah, that, uh, that does nothing for me. It's funny, it'll use that Persona even if you don't have it equipped. What a surprise! <laughs> you could use Persona as well. 
Of course, this, the business CEOs would have, you know, personas as well, right? You too! And then he casts Fireall. Uh-oh. He's got an AoE spell. <laughs> oh no, ow, it hurts. He literally starts the fight wounded. <laughs> uh, I'll leave these kids up to you, Tiny. And then he, he just leaves. He, he, gets to, he gets to escape and cast a spell in the same turn, apparently. Get over here, don't run away. You're not going anywhere. Ha ha ha, he leaves. You must defeat me first. And it, we do start the, 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 the battle wounded. I was fully healed before this, but it's okay because we have a super powered um, <laughs> pixie. And uh, the other characters, they could use personas as well. Like we can multi bow all these guys if we wanted. We could also heal ourselves if we wanted. I can match up. Uh, you know, it take this fight a little more seriously. Grab all, and then of course we have defense up. Gotta get our buffs going. Uh, now, uh, I think Tiny has only- he only has 750 HP, if I remember. It's been a long time, but, uh, let's see how hard we hit him here. We hit, uh, the, yeah, he <laughs> one-shot it! <laughs> one-shot the boss! Oh, yeah, look at all that experience to the main character. And then Nate got a bunch of Persona, uh, experience, too, because in the cutscene, you know, he, uh, he did one spell, so he got a little bit of that, uh... Look at our stats, we have 69 agility. Ooh, 69. I got three level ups from that, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, we're maxing out agility really quick here. And um, <laughs> and then we're gonna go tech, because that's your gun damage. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the, the tiny fight. Just one shot him, man. <laughs> I've never done that before, that's pretty funny. I didn't even grind that much, just a little bit. <laughs> that slime, where did he go? <laughs> Uh, he never went out the door. There must be a trap door somewhere. I've seen him somewhere. What's wrong? You look pale. Remember, back then, you couldn't show. You had to tell. You had to tell through text. There's nothing wrong. Hurry, let's go after him. Uh, uh, run to the door. To this thing. Get an item. Yeah, man. Black sword. There's a button, I believe, on his desk that you have to hit, if I remember right. Like this little control panel doohickey. There's a switch, push it. Yeah, push the switch. And that should move his little thing to the hidden doorway. Oh boy. Bingo, you did it. Hidden corridor, he likes his toys. Let's go, let's go after him, bros. Let's go. Yeah, man. All right. And now we're into the next part of the dungeon. Oh, jeez. That's right. More dungeons. At this time, we only have basement one to go to. Oh boy. The tension. This is supposed to be tension, right? This is like, oh, oh, we're going to the basement, guys. Just more cutscenes, though. I don't think you can get a random encounter in this hallway. I, I don't think so, but I'm going to try it anyway, just in case. And we can. All right. I want to see what kind of fight we have. I don't remember. It's like, is this a good grind spot? Oh, maybe. <laughs> We've got, what are these guys called? They're Cyrus's level 18. Yeah, we can just, uh, I don't want to replay the last fight because um, that's like full try hard mode. I just want regular swords and guns. Regular swords, regular guns. All right, see if they are immune to ice or not, or if they reflect ice, that would be pretty bad, but most likely they'll just get one-shotted, just like the boss. Oh, yeah, there they go. They were kind of resistant to magic though. So, might make a good Persona card. Gold Sword! By the way, having 99 luck with Pixie means you get the rare item drops almost every freaking time. So I need to see if Gold Sword is better than what I got. Because that might be a weapon upgrade. Luna Blade. Apparently it's, um... is not... a sword that any of us can use. We have Tanto, which sucks. Yeah, can't can't use the gold sword. What the what the hell is it for? Maybe it's for fusion? Literally dropped a gold sword, man. <laughs> gold sword, attack seven, accuracy twenty, it's five times, no one can use it. No none of my sword users can equip this. Is it bugged? I guess they just forgot to program it. Well, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go through here and um, do the cutscene. Now we have to push the button for the good ending, so I need to remind myself that. Oh wait, well, this is just a little um, staging area. We'll loot the boxes. Get uh, Tanto, we don't need that. We already just established that sucks. 
That is a trap, so we took damage. Oh no, but there's an item anyway. Here's your herb. Heal yourself. This is how the game teaches you that there's traps, right? Take damage, but also get Trent Gloves. Is Trent Gloves better than what I have? I'm not super concerned about, um... Okay, Trent Gloves are not better than what I have, so... It's pretty useless looting these. Anyway, we can uh, go ahead and go continue forward here into the next part of the dungeon. That is right. Which, there's not much. We're on the basement level, yep. Alarm's going off. Oh, it's spooky. Oh, it's spooky. <laughs> Uh, I don't think the encounters change down here. I'm pretty sure they don't. Hey, we got these guys again. I wonder if they'll give another gold sword. Anyway, um, we're gonna I'm gonna skip this for you so you don't have to waste time. Alright, there's really not a lot more to go until the cutscene, but I'm gonna go ahead and explore this room for you, just just in case. You don't need to go in here. This is another storage room. But uh, you can't really come back here afterwards. See the people, and that door should be locked up ahead. You can talk to them. Oh, uh, the demons are roaming the streets. Oh no! It's kind of interesting though. Haha, <laughs> lol XD. It's kind of interesting though. And this is a- it's locked. They won't let you in. It, it's just dialogue and story, so there's really nothing in there. I think there was an item in the corner, but again, the items are- there's no point. But we are going to go this way, and this is the first time you'll see this interaction. This is called a dark room. You can't see in the dark rooms, okay? You have to- you have to push and feel your way through. But, um, I- I know the way. It's- it's a really simple one, but later on, in the really horrendous dungeons, Oh, I need this- I need this little guy here, the gremlin. Yeah, I gotta get the gremlin, guys. So, um, we're gonna dance for the gremlin, and... <laughs> see if that works. Alright. This is by far the hardest damn thing almost in the entire game to get its spell card. You have to use main character, you have to use recruit, and in the first interaction, uh, the demon will say... It, it has to say that it doesn't trust you because its mom told him not to, and you have to say, it's okay. And then after that, the demon will be interested. Nothing else works. Absolutely no other choice in the entire game, uh, from with these characters at least, will work. Uh, so if you have Ellie in your party, there maybe Alana or maybe the other characters can convince this thing to give you the spell card, but <laughs> this is the only way, and it's, it's pure freaking luck. I must have reset here for like 40 minutes trying to get this, okay. Anyway, so there we go. Gremlin spell card, absolutely useful later for some really good fusions. Alright, anyway, back to the dark room here. Okay, so we have to go down one, right one, I believe, and then down one, right two, and then up until we hit wall, and then right until we hit wall, and then down until we hit wall, and then, and then right again. And there we go, we made it. And this is basically the uh, the only way to go from here. Yes, there are two rooms. This one is just another item room, so we'll go ahead and explore that real quick for you. That way, that way you can just kind of see what's in here. It's on the way. You might as well. And again, it's just more scientists, more uh, more storyline where they talk about you know the eth you know the ethicalness of it all. You got some piles of boxes here. Nothing really going on. All my years of research gone to waste. My poor research. Oh, my poor research. Even though the town is being massacred by demons, right, guys? Like, oh no, my, my research. And then uh, we go here, and well, not not that. Alright, here we go, more storyline time for you. That way you can see the story. Now we have to hit the button, that's, that's what we gotta do, that's our only important thing. Also, you almost never hear this song in the game, this kind of like, I don't know, it's like ramping up, it's like dun 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 Anyway. <laughs> Is everything tuned up and ready to go, Dr. Nicholas? You should reconsider. Stop the machine. This is the, basically the trope of the scientist telling the bad guy, No, it's too dangerous. It's too bad. Um, so yeah. Do you plan to kill everyone that stands in your way? Judgment will fall. It's just a matter of time. Where the heck do you think you're going, you geezer? <laughs> I should use that word more often. Geezer is a fun word. Even though he's like probably middle-aged. I guess he is a geezer compared to the high school students. But there you go. You're mad, Guido. We won't let you destroy our world. I have a job to do. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> the ancient cutscene. They just they just disappear inside. They don't even walk in. Oh, lazy sprite animators. So this is the machine. What is he planning on doing? This machine. Why? Why do I know this machine? The sound effects were so good for the time, guys. There was no other game to compare to this, I'm telling you. There was no other freaking game on the planet at the time of this release that compared graphically, sound, music score, 
just everything was way like ahead of its time. Oh man, I know nowadays it's not really the best thing to look at or listen to, but I think it's good. That's why I'm showing it on my channel. That's why I'm replaying this ancient game for you guys and for me, so that I can look back on this video and remember the good times. Let's help him. Dr. Nicholas doesn't have to end his life for Guido. He came here to kill Guido, not the other he cruelly used. I don't think cruelly is a word, but um, it's whatever. Fun translations. I could have been a translator in the 90s, except I don't think I was old enough to be hired. <laughs> anyway, it's like, yo, we can stop the machine. The red button here is the emergency stop. The blue button is the booster. Push the red button and we can help him. So yeah, you gotta push the red button to get the good ending, by the way. How do you know all this? <laughs> I don't know, but I know it'll work! Ominous, push the red button. We can help by pushing the red button. Which button? Red or blue? Push the red button. If you push blue, you accelerate, you get the bad ending. Uh, so you don't want to push that button. There you go, we push the red button. Oh no, it won't stop! What's going on? Even though it doesn't stop, it's still... The, the, the game... <laughs> the game... You know, it's like, well, you tried to make the right choice, so, you know, you're still a good guy, bro. Then the little girl pops up. I'm not gonna spoil who she is, but... Little girl pops up, stops the machine. Look! It's a little girl. A little creepy little girl. Girl in black. With the ellipses. I wouldn't let you kill my daddy. Let's go, daddy. Ha ha ha, fools, I will not die. Take me to your world. And... <laughs> there you go. What the... Damn, how could this be? No! Why would you do this? And... Now we go to a whole new world map. And a whole new world. With a new shop. Uh-oh, it's a cutscene, guys. Am, am I okay to play this one? There's no, uh... I don't know. I'm gonna skip it. Just to be safe. If... If not, it's fine. This is gonna be a very long video anyway. Alright, we are now back at the school! I think it's the school. I'm pretty sure it's the school. Look at this. It's like a Chrono Trigger portal, but but cooler looking. Yeah, uh, main character's fine. He's like, man, why is everybody napping? Everyone's just, uh, you know, portal sick, I guess. You okay? No one's helping Ellie over there. She's all by herself, guys. <laughs> She's the extra member, the optional party member. <laughs> Why does no one care about that person, huh? Jeez. I think she has purple hair in the Japanese version. What is this place? Oh, you're alive. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. This is not power rankings, by the way. Where are we? Are you hurt? Looks like we're all fine. Luck must be our, on our side. It sure is with the 99 Luck Pixie. We have come back. Come back six months. Are you sure you're okay? Slip back in time? No, that's not the case. It's a whole different world. They don't know it yet. I'm spoiling the story. May I repeat again? I don't have a mom. I don't have a mom. <laughs> there you are. Mary, a terrible thing happened. Bruce was seriously injured. That girl in the black dress came again. And now we have a mid-boss introduced. There is a mid-boss that we have to go solve before we can go go back to the main quest. Him and Selena have been missing. These are just characters that, why do we care about, who cares? Hey, look, we lost a party member. It's okay, though, because we have Pixie on the main character. Uh, so, obviously, we don't, we don't want Nate in the back row. Nate can go back up front. Nate can actually replace Ellie there, and then we'll save that as for me. Cool. Alright. It's time to go. But first, a random student was in here the whole time. Haha. <laughs> I could have sworn that you guys appeared out of nowhere. It was probably just seeing things. Ha ha ha. Lol, XD. So you'll notice in the next room, the hole in the wall, it's gone. It's not there. And everyone's weirded out about it. I don't think Guido's gonna stay around that long. I wonder what he's planning on doing next. Then we continue along. So, before we go where we're supposed to, which is the second floor, by the way, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to leave, and you'll get another hint at, that you're not in, an, in, in like, a, the past. You're in an alternate universe. Alternate timeline, maybe. 
alternate world of sorts. So we're going to try to leave here, and you'll see a familiar face from the uh, earlier part of the game. And it's just an interesting little conversation I thought I'd show. Just thought I'd show in case for anyone who cares about the story here. What's up, Yuki? Long time no see. And she's like, it hasn't been that long. I suppose so. We just played Persona, went to visit Mary, and then you left right after we rescued Mary's mom. And she's like, what? What are you talking about? Huh? You were there too. Playing Persona? Visiting Mary? Rescuing? What are you talking about? It's like, you don't remember? Or maybe you're not the Yuki that we know. Whatever it is, I think we should get out of here. So the the, the the party gets weirded out and they just turn back around and go back into school. They're just too awkward to, too awkward to leave the school. So anyway, uh, the way you need to go is you could go straight, which is a stairway that way. But if you take a left, there's another stairway and it's closer to the room that we need to go in. So, you, you go all the way down here. Yep, it's quite a run. There's no encounters, because it's peaceful. You're in a peaceful world, by the way. So, you go up the stairs, and then you turn, and you're looking for 2-5. 2-5, there it is. 2-5, that's the room that we need to be in. Alright. And then this will continue the story. So, go in here, and everyone's talking. There's a character named uh, Bruce. I don't remember his name in Japan, it's definitely not Bruce, though. They, they took a lot of names from Batman <laughs> for the translation. I don't know why. Anyway, so Bruce has a... Has a he's got a girlfriend, and his girlfriend's apparently a, a, a spell caster, like a witch. And she's not too happy. She thinks Bruce is, like, doing something weird. So, um, you know, she gets her revenge, and that's the next dungeon. Yeehaw, alright. Anyway, so, um, parallel worlds, this is, the, this is where they're figuring out. A world like ours exists among many worlds. Parallel universes. Yes, this was, you know, in the 90s. That's why this game's so cool. Such fun ideas. Isn't this romantic? It's like a fairy tale come true. I like how the Ellie character doesn't really take anything seriously. Like, would you in, in a in a weird situation like this, right? Like, I'd just be freaking relaxed as hell. I mean, you, gotta, you got magic, you got guns. I think you're all set. Demons aren't that scary when you have those things, right? Not too bad. Anyway, this is just a lot more of exposition dumping, storyline dumping... And uh, if you if you want, slow down the video, you know, use your back arrow to go back a few spaces in the video. And uh, Selena was taken by the girl in black. And oh no, earthquake again. Uh oh, what is this? It's that girl again. She's changing the school. Ha ha ha. I will destroy your school. <laughs> I eliminated the exits so no one can escape. Ha ha ha. It's that girl. Did she say she erased the exits? If demons start coming, oh, we'll all die. Damn, I have to go. No, don't go. Everyone stay together. We must do something. I don't know what's going on, but we can't stay here. Let's go. Time to reform. Load form A. I think form A is how we... No. No. I have to manually do it because um, Nate is... Nate's number position changed. So Mary, center last. I, I want Nate middle. And then uh, mark right with Ellie mid back. There you go. And then we'll say this form A. Awesome. And everyone should still have their good weapons and stuff. So yes, it looks like it. Everyone's all set. Let's go. All right. Now this dungeon, a little different. A little different than what we're used to. Um, I'll show you how to get through it though. But there are... The music changed. The entire dungeon changed. When you open your map, you'll realize that it's unexplored. So you don't know where you're at. That's the power of this this lady here, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to get through it. All right, so let me show you the route to, to get there. And this this is kind of the the most underreported route because if you go online to try to find maps for this, they're all wrong because they either take from the PSP or the Japanese version, which is different than the US version. I don't know if it's different in the European version, the PAL version, but this is the way you go. All right, so this is a velvet room, and this is a save point and a healing area. Uh, you heal from the nurse, or the doctor, rather, and there's an Augustus tree in the corner. It's a little hard to see, but anyway, you go this way. Now, I'm going to show you the way that uh, the guides online will tell you to go, which is you go through this first door. That's completely correct, okay? You'll appear here, and then you go through this route here. Now, every guide online will tell you to hug this leftmost little area, and that is incorrect, and let me show you why. Because when you go up here... There's nowhere to go. The guides will say that you need to go through this wall, and that is incorrect. In the PSP version, yes, you can go this way. But for some reason, it's different. So you actually have to turn back around and then go this way. 
<laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, just cut through the middle. Not that middle. <laughs> See? Uh, just go this way. You gotta take a little right, and then you'll cut up through the middle. And then take a left as you cut up here through the middle. And then the, re the rest uh, of, of everything is normal. So, y you're hugging the left side here. You're basically going all the way up. And then you're gonna kind of diverge here a bit, okay? You're gonna go through another one of these weird teleporty holes, and that's fine. Go ahead and go through it, and then you go up, and you just follow this path here. And you're not gonna go up anymore. You're actually gonna go down into the right, and then down into the right, and then up, and then there's the stairway. Now, it gets a little tricky here, okay? Because you take the stairway, you go down, you're going down into the right, and then you're gonna go up and, up and around, so we're going up, we're going left, we're going up. At this fork, you take the left. Now, this is very important right here. When you get to this part right here, okay? Now, this is like the second floor. It won't tell you it's the second floor. Don't step any further ahead. If you take one more step ahead, it will drop you down a floor. You have to go into this building and then exit out the other side, okay? And there is a storyline cutscene, okay? Now... This involves the secret character Chris. I think his name in Japan is Ray Reiji? Reiji? I don't know, but anyway. So this is Chris. Uh, if you, there's a whole lot of steps you got to take in order to get him in your party, but we have Ellen instead. And because we didn't do any of the bonus side stuff that you have to do, you have to do a whole lot of stuff at the very, very start of the game in order to get this guy in your party. And he is the strongest party member at the end of the game. Okay, but right now, like. In the early game, he is not the best character to have. He, he's a cool character and all, sure. He's uh, He's got some interesting voice lines. Uh, I, I think he uses rifles also. But he's also a, a punching character, which is interesting. So he's, uh, he, you know, he taunts the demon, and then he summons his persona. And by the way, his persona changes at level 99. I think he gets Lucifer as his persona or something. And once you max out and level that, that persona to eight, then it changes form again, just like it does in, like, Persona 4 or 5. So, there you go. You get a free level up for the storyline battle. So, that's cool. Uh, and then afterwards, you would get him if you met all the pre-requirements, but um, because we weren't friendly to him, we didn't stand up for him and do all the bonus side stuff, he doesn't really like or care about our, our characters. You can use Personas 2, and he's like, What? You guys too? And, uh, it's like, that is correct. By the way, you look like the real Chris, are you? He's like, what do you mean, the real Chris? And then, uh, he explains that, you know, he was sent to this world too, yada yada yada, storyline exposition, fun times, right? I was floating around in a place where nothing made any sense, then I found a child dressed in white. You'll see more on that later. When I woke up, I was here, the child was gone, that's it, I don't remember anything else. A girl dressed in white? Alright, alright. Those are misspelled, by the way. And we'll find a way to get Guido home. Come with us. Your mother must be worried sick about you by now, but here's his response. Shut up. I don't need any friends. I'll do what I want, whatever I want. Then he leaves, because we weren't friendly to him earlier, so um, he has no stake in, in our party. And that's fine. <laughs> Have it your way. You'll probably find you lying dead in a ditch somewhere. What's his problem? <laughs> he sure went off when I mentioned his mom. <laughs> And it's like, ah, oh, jeez, stop it. Guido must have hit a sore spot with him. Sore spot? What? Anyway, then it makes you uh, reform your party because it, it doesn't know if you got him or not. Bad programming on that that end. But there you go. So, <laughs> in here you can also get some you get some items here. Check it out. You can get a uh, turquoise, which is nice for a fusion. I already have a bunch of those thanks to the uh, uh, code breaker. So I don't really need it. Poison! Oh, that's not good. Don't open that one. And then, of course, you got uh, metal cards, three of them. Let's talk to the lady here on the side. She's like, is that Chris? He is cool. Oh, well, she loves him. Mwah. Right? Anyway, uh, so you want to exit out this one. This one right here, okay? Also, there's nothing in here, so don't, work, don't try to search it. But yeah, exit out this side, and uh, I'll show you the rest of the way now. Okay. Where are we at? Do not walk upwards. Don't get confused. Do not walk upwards. Check your map. Okay, then you're gonna go this way. Oh, and we're poisoned because we opened the box. So don't worry about the poison. I don't have encounters on because I'm cheating at the moment. So I can show you how and where to go, okay? Then you're gonna take this route, which is gonna teleport you this way. And then 
Hug the leftmost side, the westmost side. Just go all the way down. Just go all the way down. Keep going. Once you hit all the way down here, you're gonna go towards the right side and then go up. Then you're gonna take this little middle path and that's gonna get you the stairwell. All right. And then, just go down here. And you're into the boss room. This is the area that you have to go to to get through this dungeon. It's a short dungeon, but it's really confusing with the floor traps and a lot of other things that'll drop you down a floor. Resetting your position and all the random encounters do make this... It's a little lengthy when you factor that in, but now that you know how to do it, you can get through it very quickly. I don't remember if I showed this, but sometimes the demons will just want to talk. They don't always want to fight, right? So this is an interesting one. I haven't seen a human for so long. Give me something for a souvenir. <laughs> Oh boy, give me some of your warmth of life, please. It's like, yeah, okay. You're relieving me, reviving me. My bad, I misread that. But yeah, now we have this lady here, and uh, we can talk to her. We can try to do whatever it is we want to do. Do we get her spell card? Do we win her over? And uh, let's sing to her. Let's see what happens if you sing to this spooky, crazy, spooky girl. Oh, she laughs. Ha ha ha. What about if you dance? Oh, I, I click lie. My lovely child, Karen. Her name's Karen. You look great. I'm not asking for that. I only want one thing. Don't invoke the wrath of Karen, you guys. The only thing I can believe is in is money. Give me $29. No way. You can't go to heaven like that. <laughs> stare at her. Stare at Karen. Mark glared at her. I don't like that look. <laughs> Okay, dance for her then, Mark. Dance seductively, ooh. Is my dance out of style now? This worries me. Dance again. Uh-oh, that didn't pique her interest. <laughs> Leave the dancing to me. I used to dance every day. And then provoke her. Get her angry too. Hey, punk. <laughs> oh, she's scared. Stop it. No, don't shake me too hard. My makeup, my eyes, cheeks, and even my skin will fall off. <laughs> okay, let's just go ahead and stare at her and that'll um, stare from head to toe. That made her angry. So she's happy, angry, and interested. I don't like that look. Dance one more time. It looks like interest got blacked out, so... I wouldn't even be talking to you in real life. <laughs> That's a breaking the fourth wall, isn't it? <laughs> I'm getting cold. I want to go somewhere else. So she's just going to run away. And there you go. So another fun feature of this game is that if you are much under-leveled of the demon and you pique their interest and ask for a spell card, they won't give you one because you're just too under-leveled, right? So, uh, <laughs> next time we meet, you may become a zombie. And then they'll just run away. By the way, if you're wondering, even with all the grinding and power leveling, Karen here is level 28, and uh, my characters are only level 20-something. I think the main character is 25. Alright, boss fight time. Woo, yeah, boss fight time, guys. Are you hype? Are you excited? Are you keeping track? Am I just playing this in the background while you eat food? That's okay, I do that too. And that's a little interesting. There she is! It's an interesting little boss fight. Ah, you interfered with my daddy's work. Oh look, sprite animations. Return the school back to the way it should be. If you don't, I'll speak you. <laughs> no, I only listen to daddy. <laughs> if you can, you flat chested. Uh, now that upsets me, I hate this child. <laughs> typical Japanese humor. Take it easy, she's just a kid. Doctor, be nice. Shut up, you loser. <laughs> uh, I wish I could be a kid again so I could talk to adults really meanly. You little, this little brat. Calm down, loser. <laughs> See, the banter between these two, it's pretty good. How about if I kill you instead? Do it. This is a suitable place for you to die. Abracadabra, kill them, Robo-Rat. Yep, it's Robo-Rat time. It's so the first machine fight. Squeak, squeak, eek. <laughs> this is not the time to be horsing around. Oh, uh, that, that was uh, translated pretty well, I think. Kill them, Robo-Rat. So yeah, uh, interesting fight here with the robot chain gun rat. That's right, and the boss fight music, it's very quirky. It's very interesting, right? Squeak. <laughs> what the heck? Now that you look at it, it's so cute. Oh, how adorable. Except it's a... It's got a chain gun, guys. Look at that. 
Bullets are dangerous, by the way. <laughs> you don't want to get shot. That's what you guys get. Uh -huh, that's what you guys get. So anyway, uh, with Pixie, we have Bolt, which is a level uh, level 2 medium damage lightning spell. Uh, which I think is called Zion Zionga? Or Zion? Some, I don't remember if I get Anyway, we're going to magic up so we can nuke it fast. I think this thing has 1,250 HP. Uh, our regular attack does more damage than Personas. Uh, let's see, it is armored, so... Uh, let's defense up, why not? And then, what do we have here? Multi-bow is fine. It's pretty resilient to physical, but we'll just hit it with Bolt. This might one-shot it, I don't know. We're pretty powerful, guys. And, yeah, that one-shot at it. <laughs> Didn't even show the damage! Uh, squeak! Did it one-shot it? Yeah, it one-shot it. <laughs> Look at all that experience. Oh, man. <laughs> just one-shotting bosses out here. I guess it had less than 1,250. Oh, uh, we got two level-ups for that. <laughs> just hogging all the XP, guys. Uh, and yeah, it's an interesting little fanfare music at the end there. You've got the little squeaks. Fun times. Killing the Robo Rat. Like, you couldn't have summoned something a little stronger? Like, literally one-shotted. Shoot, I'll tell my daddy. My daddy's so strong, he'll whip your butt. And then, of course, she teleports away. Wait! Oh, she ran away again. Dang. Who was that? That child. And then this guy's limping out here with his broken arm and stuff. Is everyone okay? Bro, we, we can literally summon magical beings to do our bidding. We're fine. Are you okay? Yeah, school's at least back to the way it should be, thanks to you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, if you were from Chick-fil-A, you'd say, my pleasure. <laughs> There's someone I'd like you to meet. Can you come with me? For what reason? <laughs> He's been kind to me and took me seriously when no one else would. He's been studying things, including parallel worlds. He may already have some of the answers to what's going on around here. Oh yeah, what kind of man is he to take your stories seriously? Gets nervous. Well, if you meet him, you'll know. I'll be in the library waiting for you guys. So you have to know where the library is. What's wrong with him? Let's go to the library anyway. <laughs> the music, though. Alright, so we are now back in the regular school where there's no encounters. Alright. All right, so let me show you the fastest way to get to the library is once you've exited the area, this is the area where you fought the rat. This is obviously to the outside. Just go north and there will be a very close stairwell. And you're gonna go up one floor and then up another floor. So this puts you on the third floor. You won't be able to go up any more floors. And then you're just gonna go south and this 3A building is where you need to be. And then here, you get to meet the, uh, the school goth, I guess. There you go. Here we are. So you're the visitors. Bruce told me all about you. I've heard you never experienced some rare phenomena. I misread that completely. Whatever. He's envious. He's a crazy student obsessed with the supernatural power. Or, or what? You're not taking your normal... Wait. This spelling is throwing me off. You are not talking you are normal way. <laughs> Nice translation. <laughs> My other self in the other world must be such a weirdo. I'd like to meet him. Everyone gets nervous. Okay, down to business, my friendly visitors. I hear you've made studies about the worlds. I'm just skipping this. I don't want to read it to you. You can clearly read it yourself. Um, maybe you can read it as fast as it scrolls through the screen. I don't know. This is just explaining that it's different worlds, dimensions, and... All that fun stuff, it's just recapping stuff that I've already told you that you as a first time player may not have realized, or maybe not, or maybe don't care, just care about killing demons and uh, hearing cool gunshot noises, right? Anyway, after this we're gonna leave through the front door of the school, there's nothing left to do. There's other cutscenes in the school, like you can go to the principal's office and stuff and there's some fun stuff there, but um, it's not really pertinent to the story. Basically. Uh, Philemon, we met him in the cutscene that I skipped, so maybe you didn't meet him, but, um, anyway, oh, okay, time to go, yeah. Oh, wait, I gotta inspect this. Don't leave before you touch this. You can hear a sound of the throb from behind the door. That way, uh, there you go. You have to do that before it lets you leave, otherwise you gotta walk all the way back up here. And I don't know why I did it twice, but there you go. So we touched the portal. 
And now we can leave and go to, I believe the museum is next. So let's get the hell out of the school. Uh, you guys already know where the exit of the school is. I don't have to show you. It's on the first floor. You notice the world map's a little weird. It's a little cloudy and, and spooky, kind of. Anyway, here's what the world map looks like, okay? So, um, yeah, we, we do have access to the Lost Forest, Augustus, the Ruins, the Museum, the Clinic, the Sun Mall. By the way, the Sun Mall is an updated inventory. But what we need to do first is we have to go to the Shrine, which is right there next to the store. So we're just going to go up to the Shrine first, and then we will have to go to the Museum, I believe. So, and there are random encounters out here, by the way, so it is not safe. Make sure you save your game, and uh, there you go. By the way, these are some crazy enemies. Okay, we have an invisible man that's a basketball dribbler, and then we have literal toilets as enemies. And yes, these are demon toilets. They are not to be trusted. I don't remember what they uh, what they do exactly, but I'm pretty sure they don't reflect bullets or swords. They might reflect magic, so I could be dead here. But uh, either way, we're going to fight them and uh, see how we do. Uh, chill all. The reason we get chill all is because we're not doing Snow Queen, so the majority of things aren't resilient towards ice damage. Let's see. And yeah, that killed all of them, so there you go. <laughs> Point proven. Uh, good XP, though. We got an electric whip we'll never use. All right, so I'm in the Sun Mall. This is the Peace Diner. I want to explain that this is a pretty cool thing that RPGs used to do back in the day. All right, and that is... You didn't always have like a loading screen that told you where you had to go next, like in the latest Final Fantasy games, right? If you play Final Fantasy 13, 14, 15, etc. Uh, well, not 14, that's multiplayer, but uh, 13 and 15. Uh, and also the new Final Fantasy 7 Remake. If you load up the game, it tells you what you're supposed to do next. But at the Peace Diner, it's like, we don't have any food, stop asking. But your friend might remember where we're supposed to go next, if you rest up here. So it's telling you that you would talk to your party members and they'll tell you where you're supposed to go. So let's say I put down the game for like a month or several years and I don't remember where the hell I'm at in the game, what I'm supposed to do. Talk to your party member, I want to go to the shrine. I'm curious about who is waiting for us there. Well, there you go. Now I know that I'm supposed to go to the shrine. By the way, I want to show kind of an older method that people used to do um, to power up early on in the game, which is kind of irrelevant now, but you would go here to the stone saleswoman, I believe it's a woman, and uh, you would go down here and you would trade precious stones for level 2 AoE spells. So like, nuke stone is medium damage with heat. All right, you got pit stone, medium damage with gravity, and so on, like medium damage with lightning. And the EA means that it's an it, it attacks everybody. Uh, so I, I need two Alexandria stones and two rubies to get a nuke stone, which is uh, this spell will absolutely delete almost everything in the game that doesn't reflect fire. And if you combine it with your you know your chill all <laughs> pixie, then basically you have everything covered, unless there's something that just completely reflects everything, which there are later in the game, but. By then, you'll just be able to gun it down, alright? That's the old way to get powered up fast. Also, because we're in the alternate world, you'll notice that the armor shop actually has armor now. It's got- this dude has loaded with guns, look at the shelves, it's full of armor plating. Uh, this kind of looks like something out of John Wick, kind of, honestly, I think, I don't know. This is another interesting uh, little dice game that you can uh, play and just keep getting a bunch of points. Basically, once you've went won once, I just max bet on everything. You have to roll a seven to lose. All right, let's see. And the six, there you go. See, we can keep going. <laughs> Yeehaw, all right. We don't really need the coins, but it's just, it's just kind of fun to play a little dice game. Six again, all right, see, we just keep winning. And uh, of course the bet gets bigger and bigger because you're basically increasing the hell out of it. So let's see, if we get seven, we lose. Oh, oh burns, sucks, ouch. That's, that's the dice though. Unfortunately for this game, it maxes out at only at 10,000, so uh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> you can see I got a lot of 9s and 6s and 8s. I don't think it's entirely RNG, but there you go. It's it's doable. So I want to show you why we grinded all those coins, because look at the prices now of the weapons. And these are some absolutely beastly weapons. Look at this King Glove, 112 attack power. This is obviously a Chris weapon because we don't have a punching character in our party. But yeah, you can see Cupid Shot, one of the best ammos in the game that we're going to use for the rest of the game. Yes, there's Gold Tip. Let me tell you why you don't want to use Gold Tip. Cupid Shot has a chance to charm the enemy when you shoot them, whereas Gold Tip does three more damage and nothing else. So you obviously want Cupid Shot. Three damage less, but you can <laughs> you could freaking charm them. Also, it gets a little tricky whenever you're picking out gear, but let me talk to you about this. Like, see, you got Close Knife with 110 attack power, 44 accuracy, it hits one time. 
Then you have Bowie, which only has 62 attack power, more accuracy, but it hits twice, okay? So you take your attack power, you multiply it by two, so that'd be 124, which beats the close knife. But look at the stats on the close knife, okay? You got, uh, it gives you five agility. That's about it. Um, the, the sword I'm, I'm using, I will lose strength, fit, and tech. Not a big deal. But I gain accuracy, I gain uh, defense, and dodge. I gain five dodge, I gain three defense if I switch to close knife. But Bowie, well, it has, you know, three dodge as well. I lose a little bit of defense. Um, but look at my stats. I get uh, extra strength, I get extra tech, and agility, 91 and 794. So Bowie is clearly, clearly better. So remember how strong Pixie is, okay? If we try to make a level 76 persona named Borax, look at his magic power, 211, which Pixie, a level 5 persona, has 280 something. Okay, so um, that's this one. Now, this is a physical persona. It's not a magical persona, just to point that out. Now, before you stop by the shrine, the Yin and Yan nearby is a weapons dealer now. Check them out. So they have weapons, and we're a little broke because we just armored the heck up. I think I didn't record that part, but I'll, I'll show you the armor later. Anyway, remember when we bought 99 of every item in the game early on? It's time to start selling those so that we can get some money to buy some guns. Alright, so this is my current inventory. You can see, um, instead of 99 of every item, we have a much more fun number. Right, guys? Am I right? Magic stones, you get those from battles. Can't really buy them. Metal cards, we're holding onto those for a breaker, code breaker, if we want to boost our stats. Uh, Ilm guards and fizz guards, really, really good stuff. This, uh, shields and reflects magic for one turn, I believe. Uh, I think it's one turn. It could be a multiple turns. I forget. It's been a long time, guys. Plenty of jewels, gems. Uh, we have uh, the Pentagon, uh, the this thing, used during fusion, the Hell Books. You can't get these anymore to late game or tablets. I keep the status element bullets in case I need to switch them, which there are a very few fights where I need to sleep enemies, very few fights when I need to do other things than charm them. So um, so we keep we keep the, uh, the special element ammo, but I sold everything else. And that got us about 66,000 buckaronis. So now we can just buy all the guns? There you go, just buy all the guns. It's okay, we can sell them back if we're not gonna use them. Which, uh, we don't need fangs, that's ammo. So whatever. Oops, I spent 21 bucks. And there you go. Now, I want to talk to you about items again. I know I talked to you about swords, but... What do you think's better? The Hydrojet, 13 attack power, 3 to 5 hits. Or the SG-550, which is 4 to 6 hits, but only 10 attack power. So. Here is the hidden attack power bonus, okay? Um, you need to factor in the fact that the more times you hit a target, the more chances you have of charming them with Cupid's Shot. So you always want to go with the gun that shoots or hits more often for that reason, regardless of attack power. In this case, the Hydrojet does have a higher maximum DPS, but a lower minimum DPS, so it kind of evens out anyway. But this one has one extra hit, um, on both ends, on the low and high end, so you want the SG-550 over the Hydrojet every single time, guys. Alright, let's go over equipment now. For the main character, Bowie, MP5K, Cupid Shot, Shadow Mask, Tac V2, Metal Gloves, Fox Shoes. This is basically the same loadout for all male characters, is Fox Shoes, Metal Glove, Tac V2, and Shadow Mask, okay? Uh, for Nate, you have the SG-550, Eye Sword. Mark, you have Medusa Axe, PA3. Ellen, now this is also also for girl characters, so Ellie has Close Knife, SG-550, um, same thing as Nate. Uh, and then all gold, gold helmet, jacket, gloves, talons, uh, which the females will share, gold armor, it's better. Uh, also, Mary will be using the BP-70Z, but she won't be in range to use it, but she has the light bow, okay? Uh, you could move Mary up closer, but that does make her susceptible to area of effect hits. Uh, which, uh, it's a single-shot pistol that has low DPS. It, she's basically useless as a gunner, and she's a forced party member, so there's no point to make her a gunner at all. This is also the stance we'll be using. Uh, main character now takes a back seat to Ellie. Uh, Ellie leads a left flank or left side. You got Nate on the right side. They both have the SSGs. Uh, Mark front and center so he can shotgun everybody now because his guns now hit everybody in front of him. So you want him in the center. He's also the highest single target swords DPS because he uses an axe. Um, and the main character can both reach with swords and guns from the second back row position there. So this is by far the best. 
Now, main character is way tankier than the others, so he is being susceptible to area of effects, but it's it's fine. He has the most HP. There's no reason he can't tank a few hits or two. All right, main character at 27 persona and regular level. You can see uh, agility nearly maxed out, luck maxed out, of course. After that, we max out tech, then vitality. We don't touch strength at all. Um, the reason being is because we don't ever sword attack as main character. We always gun attack. He's the best gunner in the game when you get the late game guns. Uh, you have Nate. Um, again, we're not we're not even going to mess with their personas at all until they're persona level 30 plus. In which case, we're going to cheat fusion full personas so that they're basically never going to die ever again. Uh, level 18, level 20 because she joined later, so she got that bonus. And then Mary level 19. We do want to power level Mary at some point, so we will give her Pixie at, at some point, and then mass grind out a ton of levels to make sure she is matching the main character's level. Because later in the game, you have to duo with her, and it can be really bad if you both have the same weakness and get killed. So that's pretty much it. We are at 5k, 10 hours <laughs> playtime, but some of that's AFK. Um, and yeah, that's all the equipment. And of course, personas, I'll show you now. Nothing crazy, just Pixie and the starters. On everybody we haven't really done anything crazy some of them aren't even maxed out mary's still level six shaman level or marks is seven and nate's is still seven so there you go we don't really use their persona as much other than buffing and here is a snapshot of their power levels so gun characters nice damage <laughs> very nice and uh main characters faster than everyone else that's why you got to act first are taking big damage from that. Now, this is just Mary with her multi-bow, which is still better than her bow attack. But you can see it just does tremendous damage. <laughs> it can hit up to five times, too. Look at the range on this thing. <laughs> just freaking gunning them down. And Nate has the same power. It's just, it's really good. All right, here we are at the shrine, which is right here on the map, in case you're curious. Um... We go in, and then we're going to get more cutscenes. We're gonna get, uh told to go to the museum next yeah it's just storyline big storyline dump we've been here before no one's here i think kane tricked us but kane said this world seemed to be what the anyway it's another cutscene. you go see philemon or whatever do in the mask it's the same butterfly as before hey it's that butterfly again it's that butterfly the one appeared when mary's mother was hurt Oh, I feel dizzy. I can't see. Oh, that's not good. That's like a, that's like having a stroke or something, isn't it? Maybe a heart attack? But yeah, it's cutscene time. Time to skip. All right, and we're back from that wonderful cutscene that y'all don't get to see. I'm sorry. Guido's here this town. I knew it. He said there's a demon in the subway station. And what's that? A mirror? What's the mirror called? Holy mirror, you boron. We could cross over to the east side if we had it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you have to go get a mirror. And there's a big monster in the subway we gotta kill. And I gotta tell you, this the, the subway boss is the first boss of the freaking game. It's kind of like a like a check. It's like, have you been leveling? Have you been do playing the game proper? Because he is a very tanky, tanky boss indeed. All right, we are now at the museum. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna get the mirror. And then we're gonna skedaddle down to the subway after this. Pretty simple, you just go in here. Everyone's kind of in the lobby. Go ahead and go through the... I went to the wrong doorway. Oh, I went to the exit. Oh, whoops. Well, just kidding. <laughs> it said exit, but it's actually the correct way. There it is, the holy mirror. Oh, it's so holy, guys. Yes, grab the holy mirror. Oh, look, it's the girl. Pretty good sprite work for back in the day, you know? This was actually really hard to do to make it translucent and stuff like that. Yes, Photoshop did exist in the 90s, but... Can't take this. Don't take this, please. No. Now, interesting enough, you don't get to see what uh, color dress that one was wearing. Spoiler, it was white. Let that sink in for a moment. I don't give a damn, I've got to get it. <laughs> she looked like May. And fade to black so that the sprites can move with the, the mirror gone, because that's how games did it back in the day. Now we can fight the demon in the subway station. Yeehaw! You got the holy mirror. Now, if you go to the subway first, you just can't fight it. It makes you just exit the area until you go here and get it. I'm pretty sure that's how that plays out. I don't remember entirely. It's been like 20 years. All right, we've made it to the subway. Now, the subway is different in this world. Unlike the other subway where you go to get Ellie real quick, this one is actually a labyrinth, and I'm going to show you how to navigate it. So we're going to go down the stairs. There we go. 
And this is where things get a little trippy, right? You're gonna follow the only path you can. There are enemies, of course, down here. So you do have to be careful. <laughs> Alright, so there are certain paths that you're gonna have to avoid because if you step on a certain tile, it will force move you to where you don't want to go. So, follow my path exactly. Now, this is the, the starting point because you can either start from this subway entrance or this one up here. So we're gonna go in the middle and then we're gonna go downwards. Backwards, downwards some more. And then we're gonna go forward from here. All right, I'm gonna edit out the fights. All right, so we're gonna continue forward here. We're gonna go all the way up as much as we can. Then we're gonna, of course, follow this path. And then we're going to be brought around this way. We're gonna stay towards the top, not going down. We're gonna go up, continuing along. And, uh, <laughs> another fight. Now, it does differ a bit from the PSP version, it looks like, okay? So we're gonna go this way, and, uh, that's how you would go in the PSP version. So now we gotta go this way. And up and around, and then down, and forward, and down, forward, and up, and then we go down. Well, forward and then down, of course. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's been a long time since I've played this, but it's still good, so. Uh, for some reason my controller is not working. There we go. All right, probably gonna get into a fight pretty soon. I'm trying to edit out the fights as best I can, y'all. All right, back to the game here. And then we're going to go down some more, and then left. Now we have to go down here. This is where the boss is. If, if you go this way, it's gonna reset your position. You have to go all the way around again. It's, it sucks. So, let's go down here, and this is a boss fight time. Yeah, uh, now, we do have to get out of the dungeon after this, and it's also kind of a semi-maze, but it's not too crazy. Anyway, this is the first hard boss of the entire game, guys. Holy mirror, you can't pass with that, you must fight me first. And this thing has over 3,000 something HP if I remember right, since you want to die so bad. Let's kill him. If we leave this demon alone, he'll become as big as a house. We must kill him now. Kind of random. But yeah, this thing has like three to 4,000 freaking HP, and um, I think he's ice immune. I forget. Uh, he might be lightning immune. He's immune to something, but he's a he's an annoying boss to fight. Shut up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, first real boss fight of the game. So I'm gonna try to bolt him because I don't remember. Uh, let's see. We're gonna match up, of course. We're gonna we're gonna fully buff up as much as we can. Uh, he's just gonna sort him. That's his biggest attack. Defense up, of course, of course. Uh, we don't need any of this other stuff. She can just shoot her bow. There you go. Let's see uh, if this... He might immune this. I think he is immune to bolt. I think you can use wind magic on him. But, um... Yeah, he reflected. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. <laughs> That's fine. We can re we have plenty of revives. It's okay, guys. Don't bolt him. <laughs> uh, and we could kill it. We could do the whole fight without main character. But, um... Yeah. That would take forever. Main character's our muscle. <laughs> he's our he's our strong man. Boom, 140. We got a <laughs> we got a lot of HP to, to chonk through. Okay, so of course they um, they aren't getting slumbered. <laughs> 54. Just hit to the gut. I think multi bow would be way better. And I've got to realign my controller once again. Of course. Okay. So again, we're gonna match up. And uh, what can he do? Well. He can, he can hit for pretty hard, so we're going to make him attack again. You know, we need her to uh, actually revive the main character. We're going to use the life orb for that full HP bonus. And uh, we're going to have to throw him right back where he was. And then she can use her persona and uh, multi-bow. The main character will be revived at full HP. We don't need to recast a cure or anything of the sort. But yeah, this is uh, it's going to be quite a fight. It's going to be quite a while. This is going to hit four to five times. That's three? Four? Only four. Dang. <laughs> magic up once again even though the main character is not getting these match ups i think wind is uh is what i should use okay but uh otherwise we can just shoot him i believe i'm pretty sure he's not immune to bullets pretty sure he doesn't reflect bullets but uh, there we go get main character back up fully healed thankfully there you go and uh yeah let's use wind okay let's use wind on him let's, let's start shooting some guns okay Start shooting some guns. Just, just use a regular bow, whatever. Just fast animations. Does he reflect this? Because it's going to kill me also. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, that hits. Okay, that only hits for 192. It's gonna be a... We're in for a long one here. I might just machine gun him down. I think I have enough tech, but... He's, uh, he's actually pretty strong against physical, it looks like. But remember, we're using Cupid shots. We're using the strongest possible weapons we can acquire. Uh, looks like, uh, Mark here doing the big brunt of the damage. He's got a lot of HP. I'm gonna skip the fight. Oh yeah, by the way, don't use ice magic because it heals him. <laughs> Oh no, lightning magic. It barely scratched. All right, well, that was not the longest fight, but it's still a, it's still a beastly one. Ah, kill them. <laughs> there we go, with swords. Look at all that nice, evenly distributed experience. It's not all going to the main character. Main character did not level up from that, surprisingly, but everyone else did. Everyone else got their just desserts, their uh, needed levels. We gotta get everyone above 30 so we can start getting them full personas and then the game's over after that like the main character can basically solo everything from here on out all right so that clears the demon there he is grr you have defeated me my master is fond of strong people like you go now which is an uh, interesting little anime oh no these stupid humans killed with the demon i can't believe it <laughs> i can't believe it can you believe it i mean kill everything you throw at them <laughs> just appears now, did, did she walk down the stairs, or did she just, un, like, vanish, unstealth, like a rogue in World of Warcraft? You're here to cause trouble, aren't you? Well, troublemaker, this is my house. From this point on, I will let you out once you come in. We'll just have to take our chances, then. We have to get Guido. I will let you. If you come in, you'll be sealed in forever. You stupid little girl. You've already tried that before, remember? It's about time you became a good little girl. Uh, I'm not reading that sentence. I'm not stupid. I have better plan this time. Your next enemy is a really cute girl. Look forward to it. <laughs> uh, Abracadabra. Oh man. The uh, remember this game was made before the um, involuntary celibate problem. <laughs> uh, your next enemy is a cute girl. <laughs> better be ready. Better be ready, bros. Okay. So. Is there anything to explore? Is that the exit that we need to go to, or is it all the way back here? You won't know until you zone in and check your map, so let's do that now, because I don't remember. It would make sense for the exit or the way forward to be this way. Checking our map now, it is the way forward. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to get the hell out of here and try to edit out the battles once again, because we still have to leave. We're going to go forward, and then we're going to go downward, I believe. It's been a long time going to take a left here and uh, then we're gonna go up and forward or I'm sorry left again and uh, oh gotta edit out the fight oh no I just want to point out that this game has some real babes like just look at them look at them uh, just ready for battle you know what more do you want <laughs> uh, but we're just gonna blow them up with magic so um, just a little power power check here just make sure I don't think these reflect ice, but if they do, it's fine. And yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> I want to warn you about something, okay? I have three stat points to distribute, okay? 97 agility, 98, hold on, controller. Ni no, dang it. 97, 98, 99, one point to go. If I click agility again, guess what? Nothing happens. You just wasted your stat points, so don't do that. Put that sucker to 99 and go to tech, and then hit yes. That way you don't waste your stat points. You can't get them back, there's no respec. All right, let's continue along the pathway here. We're going left, then down, and then right, because this is the only way forward right now, guys. Now, when you get to this little weird janky part, you just go, you just follow the little, the right side here. This is where you want to go. Now, it's gonna, hold on. <laughs> All right, continuing from the battle. Now, this is where it gets weird. You actually want to go down and then left. You don't want to go right, and you gotta go all the way around. Okay, that's how, that's where you go in the PSP version. Obviously, you can see on the map, that's not the case. Just go right on the, the, the original PlayStation version. Not down. Yes, I have to learn this alongside you. This should be the way forward. Okay. I, I, I know the PSP one. Dang it. And then we go, uh, we go up. Yes, we go up. And then, oh, there's another fight I gotta edit out. Ah! Earlier when I told you there's a lot of babes in this game, the name is literally Babe. Uh, okay, so when you get here, you just go up, and then you go up, and there's the stairway to the exit. We are out of the subway. We're now on the other side of the wall. 
Now you'll notice that the um, the overworld in, on the side that we came in from was all nice and bright and white and kind of dreamy, but this one is, uh, oh, it's darker, oh, it's spookier, it's, we're on the dark side now, but you got the, instead of uh, the Sun Mall, it's called the Black Market, by the way. There's also Castle Mana down there, there's a haunted house, and a save point, but we can go to the Black Market, don't be scared, it's not like Albion's Black Market or anything, I'm an Albion Online YouTuber, by the way. It's basically the same thing, it's, uh, there's a save point in here, there's a, uh, you got everything you need, the velvet room, vendors, shopkeepers, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna we're gonna, you know, do our thing. By the way, for you step manipulators out there, or um <laughs> other cheaters, uh when you're in the black market, there are three code breakers. This one here is the 99 metal cards. Uh this one is an essence set, but you should never do this one because this one is a surprise set. And the surprise set is an essence set and more. Let me show you. So when you win a surprise set or an essence set, you get all these essences, right? These basically give you one permanent stat to everything. So we're going to give like one strength to main character, one tech to main character. Our luck is maxed on main, so we'll give it to, we'll give it to Mary. Uh, five plus five max SP on the main. Yes, of course. Vitality, of course. Agility is maxed on main, so we're going to give it to Mary. And then HP five per plus five max there you go right you get all of that with the essence set in that metal machine but the one on the right also gives you zoma which restores any bad status god voice which restores hp every turn to your whole party holy bell res restores all conditions to your whole party okay uh mill bomb reduces all enemies hp to one i don't think this works on bosses by the way uh and then evil house sucks up uh something fa i don't know what that means and then uh, Devil House makes all the enemies run away. So it's super good, but of course, mathematically impossible to do without cheating. I forgot to mention, once you enter the black market, for storyline purposes, you can't leave. This is a dungeon hub. You have to complete the dungeon. See, if I try to leave, it just teleports me to the other side and says, you got pushed back. But don't worry, there is nothing else to do right now at all. There is a dungeon you can grind at, so it's not a big deal. You have everything here you need anyway. It's that time again for which item should you use? Alright, so, the females have the gold helmet, but there's the samurai hat, okay? Look at this, defense 20, dodge 30. Samurai hat, defense 18, dodge 17, okay? Obviously the samurai hat's better in that regard, but if you look at the bottom right, there are more gray numbers than there are green or yellow numbers. So, it's not that bad. So check it out, look. 30 agility goes down to 28, but vitality goes up 23. That's a plus one, right? You do lose accuracy and um, in both your your melee and your guns by one one point. But look how much dodge you get. We're at 79 dodge, 91 dodge. It is absolutely worth it to use Samurai Hat. Little pro tip is when using Pixie as the main character, if you use items, it does scale off your spell damage. So these little glacier rocks, which would be Bufudine stones in the Japanese version, they deal way more damage than your chill all on single targets, so buy as many as you want to just nuke single targets. I just need one. Alright, it's time for another equipment update. That way you know that once you're in the black market, what you should buy and what you should not buy. Okay, so for equipment, for the main character, Bowie, Phantom, Cupid Shot, and all silver gear. Uh, all silver gear for all the males. Carbine for Nate, Eye Sword. Mark still has Medusa Axe. Mad Max, Silver Armor of course. Ellen, still using Close Knife with Carbine, uh, and Samurai Hat, Plate Armor, Titan Gloves, Plate Shoes. Mary is the same thing, okay, but she has the Great Ghost and still Light Bow. Samurai Hat, Plate Armor, Titan Gloves, Plate Shoes. That is the optimal armor and weapons buyout for this zone. By the way, the pharmacy now sells the best healing items in the game for 140 bucks each if you want them. I don't really need them, but to advance the story from here, just go to Peace Diner and there will be a cutscene. And guys, this video has gotten really, really long and uh, as much as I would like it to just make this a one video full playthrough, it is a JRPG, it is quite long. So I'm going to end this part here and uh, if it gets popular, people like this, I might continue it, okay guys? I'm still binging, thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Um, up on the screen right now is the next video that you should watch. Um, hopefully it's the next part of the Persona series if you're watching in the future. Uh, I try to make videos every day, sometimes two videos a day. I genuinely, I generally play MMORPGs, so make sure you click the video that's on screen right now. 
leave a like, leave a comment because I read every comment. Make sure you're subscribed because I will see you tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Take care. Watch the video on the screen. Thanks.